all right today is day 1 and let's start excel course for professionals and freshers live please all right so this is the excel file okay and see the green box is moving right this green box is called cursor okay this the green box which is moving you can see we called it a cursor and where this box is moving we call them as cell c e w l this cell is not a medical science cell okay that cell is different one cell is which is physics in the physics voltics voltic cell right to charge the battery so that cell is different the medical cell is different which is inside every living body and this cell is related to this the box where it is moving so this is a cell right now this the green cursor is moving with the keyboard there is four up down right left okay so in the keyboard we have arrow buttons up down left right okay you can see that in this the complete i mean this the combination of these cells these boxes this is our workspace okay we create the tables here we can create the reports here in the bottom we you can see that there is a sheet 1 so this is the name of the sheet we can create many sheet inside one file this is one file see the plus sign just click on the plus sign the sheet 2 is created click on plus sign again sheet 3 is created click on plus sign again sheet 4 is created so we are creating the sheet creating the sheet okay cell the boxes the cursor okay the the green the this green one that is cursor now you can see that this one this this bar what this is a bar this is also a bar b a r now this is actually the vertical bar because this is vertical vertical 90 degree 90 degree okay then this is horizontal bar why we call it as horizontal because this is straight line 180 degree horizontal 180 degree horizontal line horizontal bar if see you can see that the horizontal i have written the horizontal bar but it is you know it is overlapping here uh, the horizontal bar is 180 degree now we have written the horizontal bar where is the bar how to see that we go here see the right i mean there is a arrow button one is left arrow button one is right arrow button we just with the mouse we will just drag it okay we can drag it or fix it or what we can do that we can just double click it will auto fix okay there are two things we can double click it will auto fix or we can fix accordingly manually as per our choice see the degree now we want we can double click this will be auto fix if we want to fix i mean by our own choice if if we want to increase the size we can increase the size okay 
so horizontal bar vertical bar we have now coming to the point we have this one to the this see the uh, number one two three four five six seven okay so total is ten four eight five seven six ten four eight five seven six ten four eight five seven six so these called rows the number one two three four five six seven up to ten four eight five seven six these all called rows now we have i mean this is the number counting from one to 10 4 8 5 7 6 so this is maximum we can go in the excel okay if we have uh, this is 10 lakhs rows if we have a data more than 10 lakhs then we can't handle that data in the excel okay and uh, this you can see the a b c d e f g h i j k these are called columns a b c okay and end is x f d up to x f d a to x f d these are called columns 1 to 10 four eight five seven six this is called rows this is called columns okay above we can see that file home insert this is actually the menu bar okay and if I will click on home we will this is called ribbon okay uh, the multiple when I will show you in the upcoming section I will show you the use of this section right this this section is called alignment let me show you right now so this is actually the alignment for example uh, we, we want to do the alignment for alignment so alignment means for example I have written some word okay I have written alignment okay now I will go to the home and see if I want it in the center see it is in the center if I want it in the right side we can click here and it will be aligned right side left side okay so one more thing see uh, the which one which is you not showing to you now you will able to understand here if I will see the alignment this is middle alignment because we have the space between the cell I mean this the, the below one is normal uh, center right and left now coming to the point what is the use of this if I will choose this it will go up, up upward okay if I will choose this it will go downward and if I will choose this it will remain in the center even I will this is the right alignment but it is in the center in the right alignment I want it down so I will choose this one bottom align I if I want top line I will choose this top line so that is the use of this now if we want to you know change the direction of this particular text okay this is called text because this is ABC anything which is not a number is called text so if we want to move uh, the direction we can move the direction the you know see alignment the direction is moving when we create multiple when we create the reports or sometimes when we create the dashboard we need this kind of alignment it depends upon the requirement you have you should have aware you should aware about how we will use this I mean the angle so vertical text we have the rotate text up rotate text down right home and we can 
C alignment, text down, format cell alignment. Now we can format by ourself. Okay, the by default we have the this is the by default, but see the manual the customization. Okay, if we have something we want to customize it more. This is not what which we are looking for. We want the customization by our own self. We can do that. See, because it is in the left, we need to take in the center to make you understand. I will take as as okay. Okay, see alignment. So, see the alignment is changed. The angle is changing here. Format cell alignment. We are changing the angle. Border. We can choose. So we don't need this. Okay. This is. I mean, uh, when we you uh, need this kind of uh, you know, requirement, th then you can use that. But mostly we don't. We never uh, need this. I mean, most of the time we do, we don't need such kind of customization. Okay, so let me go to the home and take it as the normal one. Let me take it as okay alignment, and I will take it as the. I will move it. Okay, now it is fine. Okay, so now if I want to auto fit this, I will go here and go down and see the arrow button, up arrow, down arrow, and there is a vertical line. Okay, I mean it's, uh, my apology. The uh, one is hor horizontal line and one is vertical line, which is which has arrow. The line which has arrow, see here, the line which has the arrows. Is the vertical line ninety degree? Okay, and the line which has no arrows is a horizontal line. When you want to fix the particular cell or particular row, you have to just move the curse. Uh, you know this pointer. The plus. You know the right now the pointer is like a plus sign, and when you move near to the side of the I mean of the row for a particular row see now just double click it is auto fitted or even you can drag and drop you know you can just auto fix you want this size you want this same way for the column here because we are we want it to be row wise so here uh, the arrow will be vertical and here we want the column wise so the arrow will be horizontal getting my point let me explain you again i mean see when we move this cursor i mean this pointer here in the a b c d which is columns then the arrow but i mean the the arrows left right arrow will be on the horizontal horizontal line will be uh, we like uh, a with arrow button i mean arrow but the vertical line is simple no arrow so we can just fix it same way for the horizontal we have the arrow on the vertical and on the horizontal it has it is fixed okay so how to auto fit auto fit okay now the same way we have the page layout we have the formulas we have the data we have okay and how to you know auto fit okay that is the done and alignment is done okay let me show you the border if you want to border this okay i have you know i have written down this text this is text if you want to border this how to border this just okay uh, i am choosing this just double click and just uh, you know 
uh, just with the mouse I think you will be aware, aware about it okay so just double click here and just down and we, we we can choose this and we will go to the home and we will choose the border as all border so see this is all borders in this way we can do the bordering next is uh, let me show you uh, for example if you want to color uh, for example the basic and this is the remarks okay this is the remarks and let me take the serial number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen now uh, you you, uh, you were thinking that I have written man manually but there is a way for the serial number to I mean automatic or uh, without manual okay uh, right now let me make it as border so go to the home choose as border so this is border but if we want this number to be come automatically because right now these are 13 only 13 okay uh, the count is 13 but if the count is 100 if the count is 200 500 thousand then you will not do this one two three four how to achieve that you will just uh, write one two and see one two and just you know you will ch uh, choose this and just drag and drop it will automatically come okay drag and drop it will automatically come okay so same way here uh, we call it as actually the flash fill or uh, the next one I am going to show you how to color color the cell okay now I want to color this serial uh, the basic the format okay so we call it as formatting so I want to format it so I want it to be blue so I have chosen it blue I want it to be border I will choose complete one okay and I will take it as border home border all border if you want it to be bold just choose all and go to the home and take it as bold and we will be I mean the headers are bold so this is called color the cell copy paste color the cell we call it as formatting I mean formatting is what what is called formatting formatting is not only the coloring formatting means uh, we are doing some visualization change visual change okay we uh, for example I have done it the color now I want uh, uh, I want it to be the center I will go to the home and align it as center so this header is in the center I want it to in the left so the header is in the left I want all the data in the left I will choose all and the left so in this way uh, we can do the formatting uh, now coming to the basic is uh, the uh, this is the formatting is done now uh, the uh, for example the the mathematical function equal basic function so we have mathematical basic function so we have uh, for that we have the sum we have uh, the I mean we sum means addition okay we have uh, multiplication subtraction division 
okay this is the main you know the four main function the basic function of mathematics is addition subtraction multiplication and addition is sum in uh, in the excel okay so uh, these are four basic mathematical function in the excel hope uh, you are enjoying the session this is uh, 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 because this is a basic one so if you are uh, not i mean if you find uh, that it's uh, you are aware about this thing then you can skip this session okay so these uh, we have the addition we have the multiplication we have the subtraction we have the division right now how how to do that the addition okay let me show you for example i will write some number i'm writing 1 2 okay okay uh, let me write 3 so 2 plus 3 is 5 okay 2 plus 3 if i will add 2 uh, 2 plus 3 it will be equal to 5 right now 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 but how it is coming because if you are a fresher then you should aware how to write the plus so we, we have to click the shift button okay in the keyboard there are uh, for example uh, in the keyboard we have 1 we have 2 we have 3 we have 4 okay let me explain you first uh, uh, okay let me show you the keyboard because that is also mandatory now uh, you can see that we have the keyboard and there are this is q w e r t y this is single text i mean the single character tab is the single character q is the single character a is the single character but plus equal to is the two character on the keyboard same way 0 and bracket this is normal bracket 9 okay the open parenthesis normal parenthesis this is star 8 this is and this is and sign and this is 7 this is actually the power sign this is 6 this is percentage sign this is 5 this is hash this is 4 uh, I mean this is uh, my apology this is uh, the uh, dollar sign and this is for the currency we can say and this is hash 3 this is add 3 2 this is factorial and this is 1 this is tilt and this is uh, I don't know this is uh, I think this one I don't know I, don't, I really don't know what is that this is tilt and this this is escape and this is curly bracket and this is the big bracket this is the curly bracket and this is the big bracket this is so in the keyboard there are some character which are two times so you need to understand for example if you want to you know if you normally press this one the equal sign will come the 9 will come 8 will come but if you want to see this uh, which is uh, upward in the up, upper side if you want that character to be you know get pressed or that will be in the output then you need to press shift okay so if you will press the shift and press 7 then it will give us the output as and let me show you for example uh, my, uh, the this the black the green box this is the cursor and if I will choose see the 7 it is coming 7 but I want plus but if I will click this it is coming equal to but I want plus how plus will come by pressing shift okay so if I will press shift and I will press plus then the plus sign will come okay same way I want and then I need to press shift plus I will click and 
now the and is coming same way i will press shift if i want the hash to be print uh, in the output so now hash will become same way at the rate same way factorial same way tilt uh, now tilt is not showing because it is uh, you know uh, let me press shift again and press miss press the star now it is showing okay it's go down okay one second oh one second okay i will delete it there is a uh, i will delete this see and i will delete this also okay now hope you will get the clarity uh, what is the meaning of the uh, uh, how to get uh, these the plus sign or and sign or percentage sign we need to press shift okay so i will i am closing the keyboard so we uh, i have explained you about shift for two characters on keyboard i will just double click here and this is auto fixed now coming to the point the addition so 2 plus 3 is 5 right so i will write 3 enter 2 enter now you need to understand if you want the sum of two number we always even for any function okay sum is a function multiplication is a function subtraction subtraction division or any upcoming function uh, i will show you in the upcoming session so for that we need to press equal to equal to sign equal to sign is very important equal to sign is very important and we will press the equal sign i mean uh, for any function function start with equal sign function start with equal sign right now every every function starts with equal sign right now if we want to if want if we want the sum of these two number we will press equal to we will press uh, see uh, the use of these four buttons let me show you let me show you one second see uh, this uh, this is a right this is left this is upper this is down okay if i will press this uh, for example we have the cursor here and i want to the i want this cursor to move right side i will click this right if i want to move it left side then left down up 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 down 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 right right left left okay coming to the point now uh, because we want the equal sign so we will press equal sign because plus is if we want the plus then we will press shift okay so every function start with equal sign we will press equal now we will press upper uh, this uh, you know the arrow because we uh, we we need to choose the cell okay how to choose the cell with these arrows left uh, i mean left right up down so uh, right now this we want this cursor to be move upward to get the number three so we will go up up it is showing us h2 so what is this h2 now h is what h is actually the column i have already explained that columns are a to xft so we are inside 
our cursor i mean our where now you need to understand normally the cursor is one but right now the cursor is two one is where we have the function we are going to get the function and one is movable cursor i mean this dotted line cursor okay when we create the function we have two cursor one is you know the normal line okay dark line cursor and one is dotted line cursor at the time of creating the function our cursor divided into two parts okay one is uh, the this one the dark line cursor and one is dotted line cursor cursor now you can see that it is coming h2 what is the meaning of h2 here you need to understand h means the column and 2 means the row so we are right now at h2 this is the position you know the longitude or latitude okay longitude and latitude is the position this is a same way you know uh, okay if you know the graph uh, normal the graph x axis y axis and we have the point okay x comma y and uh, now let me uh, let me first uh, complete this then i will come to that point okay uh, h2 so h2 means we are at the h2 right this is h and oh my h2 this is 2 so this is h2 the 3 is at h2 now we want the addition so we want addition with whom with the 2 so to add we will press plus but if i will press here it will come equal to which is not correct so to remove this i will click on delete right now it is showing me uh, this uh, the you know the cross sign but in the keyboard it uh, it's, it's mentioned there delete okay you have to click uh, this one now this is getting deleted we want to add this to number i will press shift see the shift is pressed i will press plus now the plus is in the i mean we are getting the plus as the output now what we now you can see that when we press the uh, plus okay this cursor is changes to blue one okay because uh, now let me show you one more thing now i will just click or uh, i mean pr uh, I, I will just because i have to go to two also so i will uh, with the help of this arrow button i will move this cursor down up up now always we can do that uh, by this arrow button or we can just by i mean this plus sign we can you know see we can change now it is we have one uh, cursor and now we have two now we have three so this is two i am taking two so now we have three cursor one is green one is blue and one is dotted line now we will press enter now we will get the output as five so this is the formula of addition i mean this is normal addition this is not the formula of addition this is manual addition okay now let me show you if we want to add more than two numbers how we can do that so let's take two three four so four three seven two nine the output should be nine so let's check the output equal to pr press equal press equal now we want to the sum of 2 then we want we need to press uh, plus right so we will press shift and then plus then we have to go there uh, the 3 then we have to press shift plus then we have to go to the 4 i mean we will just move this cursor here and we have uh, j3 j3 j1 j2 j3 already explained you j is the column one is the row j is the column two is the row j is the column three is the row already explained here rows one two ten four eight five seven six and column is a to xft and guys this is most important session okay this is the basic one but this will plays very important role to get the understand 
my upcoming session if you lack these basic skills you will not be able to understand the excel or you will do mistakes okay so try to understand carefully j1 plus j2 plus j3 okay so we will just click on enter and we will get the output as 9 but if uh, the number is too long let me uh, show you how to if the number is too long for example we have 9 we have okay let me take it as 1 2 3 4 if we will do this approach I mean right now the, the number is only we can do that we can do this manually okay there is no problem but if the number is very uh, if, if it is we need to add thousand number two thousand number then this is not the good approach this is just the basic you have to understand okay but if you want the sum of you know the you have the data of thousands five hundreds two thousands three thousands how you going to add those numbers then the function come into the action that is called sum now we want the sum of these number we can do it like equal to this then shift then plus then this we can do that shift then plus then this shift then plus then this we can do that now the color is changing okay so when we apply the formula we will get the multiple color we will get multiple cursor so that's not the issue we can do that but we will not do this because this is you should have the understanding sometimes we have a two plus uh, you know only three cell that is fine four cell five cell that is fine if we are doing that no problem but if we have the large data set with us and we want to combine uh, add, add that data set there is a function which is called sum see the sum so here uh, we have the cursor we will press equal sign uh, because every function every formula start with the equal sign in the excel we will type s u m and we will see we are getting f x this is sum so we will we can we will just when we will uh, press s u m we are getting this sum so we will just type we will just click on tab we can do that and we will just drag we will choose this okay and enter we have 37 so this is the output this is we are getting the sum directly i am deleting it and i am showing you without pressing tab how we can achieve that equal to s u m shift open parenthesis 9 because uh, we have pressed the shift so we will get the output as open parenthesis we have to choose to whom we are going the to do the plus we want these number plus now we have to press shift close parenthesis enter 37 if i want uh, i mean equal to and if i want the sum of these number i will choose this number okay i have not choose on this sum one second sum okay is backspace okay how 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 for example you are writing something and you want to uh, writing the formula okay whatever we now we want how to get back so just see uh, this is actually the delete we have to back so how we can get back there is a back button uh, one second here is here is back back this is delete this is back here i think yes this is delete this they will complete quick. delete is here am i obloji so this is backspace here so see we are getting back now uh, equal to s u m shift and then press shift then press this open parenthesis 
and we want the sum of these number choose and equal and enter okay so uh, let me take again sum shift and press 9 so i mean 9 means by open parenthesis choose anyone uh, to whom you want the sum shift and then uh, close the parenthesis enter we have the sum with us in this way we can do the sum now we have this number and we want i mean we can't we don't want i mean always most of the time we need the sum we can't say that subtract this number all these number we can say that uh, we can say that subtract these two numbers so how to subtract that equal to this number minus this number so we are getting one so sometimes what we need for example uh, we have the data set uh, okay let me show you how to copy choose this one the complete one control c and here control v so this is how to copy okay control plus c and paste is control plus v this is the main uh, very uh, most useful keyboard shortcut control c control v okay and if you want uh, to cut cut means for example i want to control x if i will go here and control press control v it will uh, vanish from here because we have cut so that is meaning of cut so for cut we have control plus x now we want the sum of these number and uh, the this number and then we want the subtraction so what how we can achieve that so let me type the sum 1 i will type sum 1 right and to make you understand i want sum 2 and equal to sum and choose this one close bracket enter equal to sum choose this one shift 0 0 means the uh, closing and we have now we want sum 1 minus sum 2 just double click here to make it out of it is equal to 12 minus 25 we have minus 13 so in this way we can do the calculation for now hope uh, this is sufficient uh, see you soon in the next session thank you so much Hello, let's start today's session. Mathematical basic functions sum, multiplication, subtraction, and division. About the sum, I have already explained in the previous session. I am going to give you some brief, little brief on this. See, we have the quantity 36 Nokia. We have Apple cell phones, we have Samsung for diff a particular year. You can see that 18, 16, 19, 17, 17, 19. So, this is the quantity. Now, we want the sum. So, how we can do that? We will type equal to. So, wait a second. I am opening the keyboard. So, you know that I have already explained for any kind of function or any kind of formula the formula will always start with equal equal sign right so I will write equal and I will write sum s u m then tab or you can write shift and 9 because shift means 
it the parenthesis the opening parenthesis right the up upward because here there are uh, two characters so if we will press shift then the up up character will be taken so here the parenthesis will be taken open parenthesis so sum and now we will take the range and enter or close the if you will close the parenthesis that is fine if you will not close the parenthesis you will just click enter that will all also fine because it will work just enter now we have 159 as the output so this is the sum for all the quantity right now here we can see that Nokia is two times right Apple is two times Samsung is one time okay now because this is for 2016 year wise but if I want what is the sum for uh, the Apple the complete sum okay how we can do that right now I will just uh, show you the manual method but in upcoming session I will show you the advanced methods also but for right now just try to understand because we have the Apple so we will write Apple right and we need the sum so how we will take take that sum is equal to we will go and see this is the apple so we will we, we need the quantity sum so we will choose this then we will press shift then equal here e i mean if we are pressing shift means this is plus right not equal so point to be noted now next apple is here uh, in the bottom so we will take this now there is no any other apple if there is any other product uh, i mean if the apple again then we will do repeat the same process now i will press enter so we have 49 quantity for the apple same way for the uh, nokia okay so let me just copy and paste so how we copy we just control c and here we will control v right now equal to go here we have the nokia 36 plus we have the nokia again 23 uh, 59 so this is the sum for nokia same way we can do for samsung but for samsung is single so this is 13 only we can just copy and paste and copy and paste same way we for the LG we will just copy now see I have uh, okay we don't need the Georgia so we will LG copy paste and we will quantity copy paste now I want the all border I will choose okay I will choose with the mouse and I will go to the home and from the ribbon this is ribbon I will choose all border ok fine now if I want apple to be bold I will choose it I will go to the home and I will take it as bold now for the multi multiplication so how we can do the multiplication we will the multiplication can be done by like this so this is 36 multiply 12 multiply 13 multiply 38 multiply 23 multiply 37 see try to understand uh, this is because this is the beginning so th this is the basic session okay so I am just making you familiar if you are aware about these thing you can skip but uh, my suggestion is is that you should not you have to watch this because you will even if you know about the basics you will learn something new okay so okay this is the product now 
this is uh, the normal method right this one which i have done here see uh, k2 plus k6 k uh, k okay uh, k3 plus k7 like that but i want the product basis on the function okay this is a formula k2 k3 k4 function is what try to understand see this is the function okay k2 k7 we are choosing the range it is giving us uh, the output so this is function now uh, i will type product and i will choose a range and enter we have the result what i have done the function is product for the multiplication the function is product and for the subtraction division so for the division for example we have the number 36 and i want to divide 36 by 12 so the output will be 3 okay so let's see that is equal to 36 divided by 12 so this is the sign uh, let me show you how it is coming let me open the keyboard okay so we have the keyboard and let me take again the, this is the formula so start with equal sign we have to divide 36 by 12 so where is the dividing this one see slash this one is the divide division sign divided by 12 is equal to th 3 one second what i am doing let me backspace this is the backspace and this is the delete try to understand this is backspace this is delete now we will press enter and we have 3 so this is correct so in this way we can do the basic mathematical calculation now next let me show you for example we have the for example uh, see the year so i want to count this by formula how we can do that we can do that by using count c o u n t by using count okay so what is the meaning of count for example i have to count these numbers uh, the years okay so how will i do that i will press equal sign i will type c o u n t or i will because c count is coming the function i will press tab and i will choose these range and I will press enter so we have six output right next one is count a what is the meaning of count a if I will run this function equal to c o u n t a tab and take these years and the range and I will press enter see it is also giving us the result 6 so what is the i mean what is the difference between count and count a now here you can see that we have actually the 6 the count is 6 uh, let me show you let me take the serial number and let me take it as 1 and let me take it as 2 and i will just choose this and i will drag and drop this is called flash fill automation i mean automatically the number is coming so the count is six we can see that one two three four five six so this is coming six and count is coming six so the difference is that that if i will remove 2017 from here i will just press delete 
you can see that the both are giving us number 5 so what is the difference now I will show you the difference if I will uh, here I will type some text for example let me type uh, year or anything XYZ okay enter now see the change the count is remain same and count is giving us 6 why because count only count the number because 2018 is a number XYZ is not a number it's a string it's a text okay A B C D E F G these are text but number the digits 0 to 9 okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 the number so count only count the number so we have only 1 2 3 4 5 we have the 5 cell in this range which ha we have chosen h2 h7 h2 this is h2 2 h7 in this range we have only 5 cell which has the number but one cell this is not a number it cons consists of text even if I will type you know the number 1 and I will type X it will still be a string so that's why it is giving us count is giving us 6 but count is giving 5 because this is not a number this is a string if I will remove uh, 2017 from here now we can see that it is giving us count as 4 because 1 2 3 4 4 are number and text is 5 I mean filled with how many I mean what is if the cell is filled with any character okay if I will you know press dollar it will consider that okay so counter counts the cell which consists something okay which consists of something but count something means it can be number it can be character it can be anything any character counter means any character but count means count doesn't mean character count means only number character but only number the character which is a number okay so these are a number these are all character but these are number so that's why it is giving us four so hope the point is clear to you now the next function is count blank very important function count blank okay so let's apply this function count blank I will choose the range the same one enter so it is giving us zero because there is nothing blank here if I will delete dollar and now it will give us one count is changing because one is, is uh, cell is I mean there is only five cell which are filled with the character so that's why count is giving us five if I will delete this one one X it will give us two as count blank because count now there are two cell which are blank for the given range which we have selected for this formula for this function by using this function and here the count is also 4 and count is also 4 because in the range which we have selected they have only the 4 cell which are filled and all 4 cells are filled with a number so that's why count is 4 and count uh, it doesn't mean it's a number or it's a if it's a character and if it is filled then it will count so that's why it is giving us a number 4 right now uh, next one is average so what is average you need to understand what is average average means uh, the for example uh, average means the average uh, let me take 2017 here let me I mean uh, it the same so if uh, average means for example uh, how many we have how uh, for, uh, for average means if we have the 
quantities see the quantities so what is the average quantity per product you know the here the uh, products are different okay but for example the products are same okay or even if the products is not same i would just want the average how we can do that we can do that by using what by using average we want to know per head what is the count so for example equal to okay for the average i will average so equal to average average okay and i will choose this now it will give us uh, no, now it's giving us 26.5 so means the average is uh, no, okay the average is 26.5 per head so that is the meaning of average hope the point is clear see you in the next session thank you so much hello today session is let's start okay so see this is the data set and this data set is already attached you can download now you can see that we have id we have age we have sale we have location we have reason right now if i will go down 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 so you can see the header header is not showing what is header the first see the naming this is called header id a c location reason so when we will see the data we want to see the data and we will uh, if we are going down but we want the header to be show so for that we use freeze freeze pans right now you can see that Uh, this is the menu bar and we have particular ribbon for every uh, i mean file for home right so for the freeze pans we will go to the view see view and here we can see the option freeze pans we will choose this freeze pans and we will just click on freeze pans now you can see that now i am going down but it still is not showing what is the reason the reason is that you should to be clear about how you want the freeze pan to be done if i want to be freeze this the up the header okay how we can freeze that we will go to the view we will go to the freeze pans we will unfreeze pans because we had freezed it before now if i will keep the cursor here go to the uh, view and see uh, i have keep the cursor here now i will choose view and freeze pans now you can see see that we have freeze pans if i will freeze right now see i have freezed it now what is happen it is freeze from here see but it is also freeze from here see after e it is freezed now it is up to you from where i mean we have freeze the header okay but if i want the id to be as a fixed i mean uh, the reference point for example i will keep the cursor in b2 right i will go to the view i will go to the freeze pans and unfreeze and then again i will freeze now what will happen when i will go down it will you know the it's freezed that is fine but when i will go right id will be freezed so hope the point is clear what is the meaning of that now we have the uh, i mean let me unfreeze it and i want only the top the row 1 to be freeze how we can do that go to the view go to the freeze pans 
click on free stop row now if i will go down or go right see the data is gone but when i am going down i am still getting the header so in this way we can do the freezing so top row that is the meaning of top row and freeze first column so even my cursor is here doesn't matter if i will choose freeze pans as first column what will happen this a column will get freeze if i will go right id will show to us right if i will go down see it, the header is not showing because we have only freeze the first column nothing else so that is called freeze pans freeze pans now coming to now you can see that the freeze pans is taking the next cell so out of it double click keep the cursor let me show you one second okay that's fine uh, so uh, double click here and we have the freeze pans now next one merge what is merge merge means for example let me border and go to the home choose all border now these are the cells i have and i want these two cells to be get merged i will choose these two cells go to home click on merge merge see the merge and center so it will merge as center go to the home see merge and center merge across merge cells and merge cells so i want to unmerge so it will keep the position the same one now let me write something for example i am writing reason okay i want this to be merged or this to be merged it will get merged let me i want this section to be get merged i will go to the home i will click on merge and center see this is merged i will just i want it to be in the center i will take it in the center now merge across this is unmerged let merge across one second let merge it first hope again merge 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 one second home and merge center yes so in this way we we can do the uh, merging and unmerging if i want it to be merged i will go home i will choose merge and center this is getting merged so that is merge now let me show you formatting which is very important for example i have this data let me copy this data okay one second i i want to show you how to copy from one page to another okay so i want this data to be copied then i will just choose this and control c and i want to paste here or here or here or here i will paste it i want reason to be i want see uh, this one should reason to be merge here and i will rename it something so i will merge it will unmerge first now merge and i i don't want this border so how to clear the border go to the home go to the borders and one second uh, it's clear border no border yes so i want to give it a something name that uh, i want to uh, id name i want to give it as uh, table 1 okay 
and I want it to be border. So I will go, I will click all borders. I want it to be bold, go to the home, take it as bold. I want it to be color because I am, this is formatting, I have formatted this. Now I want these also to be color. So home and I will choose something like this and now I have the age and I have the sale so I will choose sale I will go to the home and I will show you the conditional formatting now I will choose data bars see we have the different kind of we can choose any one so I am choosing this one Now what is happening? We are getting uh, the output as per data bars. I mean, 50 as per the total, the the total will be. See the sum is this. So this is actually the how much per. I mean, basis on these numbers, we uh, we are getting the bars, right? Now, if I want it to be percentage, so how, how, how I can do that? I will copy sale and I will paste here. Now, see the table is here. I want it to be here also because I, I have introduced sale percentage, right? Sale percentage. So just click, uh, choose the table one and go to the home and merge and center and again merge and center. That is fine. Now we want it to be percentage. How we can do that? So how much percentage is this for this? So for that, let me show you uh, the simple example. If I will take it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now what is happening? 8 is 100 percent. 8 is 100 percent, right? 7 is 90 percent, 6 is 80 percent, 5 is uh, 70 percent. So let's start from 1. This is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Uh, one second, let me take something else more. So let me copy this. So you will get better understanding. So we will choose as 9. I mean, uh, this is after 8, we will get 9 and then 10. Now you will get more clarity what I am trying to say. So 9 and 10. Now what is happening? 10 means the highest number is here 10. So that means 100%. This is 90%, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20. 1% like that. Now let me copy this and we are pasting here control C and control V where we want to paste. We can do the pasting anywhere. If I want this to be paste the, the complete let me uh, take it as all border. Let me take it as thick border. So this is thick border see. Now I will just choose this complete one control C. I will add another, another sheet click on plus sign and I will paste control V so we have the data so in this way we can do the copy from one sheet to another copy from one sheet to another sheet now coming to the next point let me fix this okay how to get the percentage so for that uh, okay I need to okay see the max max function we need to use the max function so what is max max will give us the maximum number from the data set okay so let me increase this and maximum highest number 
okay copy from okay copy from one sheet to another that is fine copy that is fine okay so max so highest highest h i g h e s t highest number in the selected data set data set that is the meaning of max highest double click and it will fixed auto fix highest number in the data set from copy from one sheet to another so free merge merge center i mean to merge the cell to merge the cell freeze pans uh, we can uh, do the row we can do column and we can do both right highest number in the selected data set so what is the meaning of that for example i will take it as max and because uh, let me take it, it as different color because this is kind of uh, i am just taking from my uh, you know the data set i have so i will give it kind of different color okay and i will take it as border all border because i am driving or i am getting the new so that's why i am giving it different color so that we will get aware that this i mean this is the data set we have but this is not the data set this is we are creating so maximum is equal to max every function or formula this is the function will start from equal sign tab and we will choose the age okay let me choose the sales so highest number here is 10 so we will get the output as 10 close the bracket 10 highest number is 10 so that's why it's getting 10 if i will write down here 3 4 it will show us 3 4 because 3 4 is the highest number so that is max coming to the point what is mean so control c control v and double click here and lowest number in the data set lowest number in the data set i will go here control c control v or what we can do that okay that's fine is equal to uh, m i n and we will choose i want this the minimum number from this data set i will close the parenthesis enter or we can press enter directly so one is the lowest number mean so this is mean function is doing the lowest number right now let me uh, cut it control x and i want to paste it somewhere here so i i we have the output here i want it to be border i will border it all border now so to get the percentage uh, what we will do i will write equal and for example uh, if we have a uh, for example we have score okay and we have maximum uh, the you know the the total or out of which we are getting the score the total okay so total we have 100 means this is the benchmark the total or F uh, score means for example you have the exam and the exam is of total 100 marks so that is total means here so you have multiple exam score 1 ok exam 1 exam 2 exam 3 so you will have score 1 sc score 2 and score 3 so total marks let me copy and paste here and total marks is of 100 100 and 100 so marks obtained 
and exam name so double click here to out of it double click here to out of it okay if you want it to be border choose it and take it as the border if you want to make it bold choose this one complete and take it as border home border here okay this is a uh, marks obtained here double click this is actually not marks obtained this is exam this is the scorecard uh, score exam one okay that is fine score okay uh, okay marks obtained we don't need this okay we need this for the percentage so percentage okay now exam i will delete it how we can do that i i have chosen this complete one and i have pressed delete from the keyboard it will get deleted keyboard now for exam one let's you have obtained 50 for exam 2 you have obtained 70 and for exam 3 you have obtained 80 now we can clearly see that this will be come as 50% the output will be 50% how this 50% i have type i have write 5 0 then i have press shift and i press the 5 number and above five number we have the percentage sign so this is getting 50 same way i will type uh, for this will be 30% it is completely showing us but when the number is huge or number is kind of in the points we can't judge that okay so this is 30% same way this is 20 uh, 70% this this is 70% obtained and this one is 80% obtained so we want this to be using the formula how how we can do that percentage shift press 5 number which has the percentage sign so with the shift it will get percentage percentage so how we can obtain that so is equal to now we know that this is the marks obtained so we will take this divided by 100 and enter i will control c and i will just select all and control v so this is kind of number but we want it to be percentage so i will choose this i will go to home and in the ribbon we have percentage sign i will just click here and now we are getting the same result so let's go to home and take it as this now we can see that this is 50 50 this is 70 70 this is 80 this is 80 so this is what this is percentage okay so what is the formula the formula is that the output divided by input or total input or total number we can say that total marks total marks so that you will get clarity and marks obtained marks obtained into 100 into 100 and we will keep it in to bracket this is very good way otherwise sometimes because uh, you have you will aware about board mass right so always use brackets to do any calculation to avoid the error or avoid the wrong calculation okay coming to the point we have the max we have the minimum we have the percentage now i want the percentage to be calculated so how we can do that is equal to cc 
this for this you need to be aware that we need to here we need to keep as uh, to get the percentage because one is from out of 10 so how we can do that is equal to we will write 10 because maximum number is what maximum number is 10 maximum number is 10 here so i will t uh, okay so obtained is 1 so 1 divided by uh, i mean i will take the reference 06 divided by what 10 because maximum number is 10 enter and i will control c choose this control v now choose all and go to home and take it as the percentage now we have the correct answer which we are looking for because this is 10 and this is 10 percent of 10 right which is 1 so that's why it is getting 10 20 30 40 50 so i will control c and here i will just right click go to paste special and choose value and ok you can see that the number is coming here but it's not 10 percent so how to convert into percentage go to hope the same one percentage so this is i have i have just show you how we can paste it but i want the formula to be here so how i i can do that i will do the same thing equal to obtained is this one divided by what the maximum so maximum is what here 10 so i will write 10 and i will keep into bracket okay and into i will take it as 100 or even if if i don't want to be 100 i will take it as this and because it is already in the percentage control c choose this control v okay there is two way to do it if you don't want it to be multiplied by 100 you need to convert into percentage if you will multiply it with 100 you you don't need to convert into percentage because it that is actually in the percentage so in this in in that way you do uh, you can calculate the percentage so in the home see we have the percentage now for example i want this to be in the center all everything so i will choose this i will go to home i will take it as center if I don't want it to be center, I want it to be left, I, I will take it as left. So it is up to you how you want to visualize the data. Right? So hope the point is clear. See you soon in the next session. Thank you so much. Filter and sorting. Okay, so filter and sorting I have and see this is taking the next cell so I will double click here and auto fit it now you need to understand what is filter filter means we want the particular data from the data set or from the table see this is our data right product id quantity price location reason so this is our table or we can say the data set or data so in this table if we want a particular data for example i want only delhi location means i want from here the data to be picked as daily okay so i mean to say i will copy product id here and paste here and i will just double click i will choose all and double click to make it out of it now if we want don't want the out of it we just want to be i mean look as our i mean as per our 
I want like this so we can do that how I can do that see the cursor uh, is uh, I mean the pointer keep the pointer on L click here double click right right I mean with the mouse and see the change uh, I mean the arrows arrows are saying you can change it from left to right even you can go left and even you can go right but you can't go up down so that is the meaning of this arrows left right left right so I want it to be like this so this is adjusted now I want my filter is that I want the data from uh, the, uh, the Delhi only Delhi location so how we can do that I will show you but right now what I am trying to say for example copy here paste here now I will find next Delhi here copy paste then I will find Delhi here copy paste okay then I will find the Delhi again copy paste now this is the manual way of doing it and this is not the good way because if that see the data is too much if the data is more if it is 4000 or 2000 rows then if we will do that just to get the data for Delhi it will take one day okay if you will go uh, with this way just copy paste copy paste now we want the data Delhi okay you can do that there is no problem but this is not the good way because you are it's just a it's even not a it's just a third 10 second task if for the 10 second task we are taking one day so that's not a good thing for the filter now to get the output as per the requirement because I want the location we want the location to be Delhi okay we want the location to be Delhi so to get the Delhi location if we will go this way that's fine we can go that but there is a one issue first issue is the mistake okay there is a I mean there is a possibility you will do the mistake by copying and pasting maybe you will you know there is a possibility the error second thing it will take too much time now to reduce this I mean to overcome this we have filters we have filter now we want the Delhi to be filtered out so how how we can achieve that we will go to the table and choose any single see single cell any header go to the home go to the data and we have the filter option press filter now see the filter is applied for this header now we want the Delhi location right this one so we will go to the location see this symbol okay uh, the box the square and inside the square we have the triangle square with triangle inside right triangle inside so this is actually a kind of drop down I will uh, explain you about the drop down later even you will understand uh, right now also it's we call it as a drop down also because drop down gives us what what drop down is drop down gives us the list the list okay list of data that is drop down so we will get the list of data I will double click here and okay so drop down gives us the list of data now for the location we have multiple location now if I will choose 
we can see delhi gurugram jaipur pune so you need to understand drop down gives us the list of unique data unique data unique means one time no duplicacy that is the meaning of unique here delhi is many times gurugram is many times but when we will choose because now we, we we have applied the filter and we are looking for delhi so i will choose that and i will choose delhi i will press okay so we have the location as delhi right so this is called filtering now i will just choose this one okay and i have to copy it now you need to understand how we can copy this if i will copy this control c and i will insert new sheet and i will write it as delhi and i will paste it so we have the output with us right that is fine but always try to understand when you will copy this uh, the filter you have to press alt and colon let me show you let me show you uh, what i am saying one second okay i have the keyboard let me choose this we have filter delhi okay at now i have taken the complete data for which i am going to copy now to copy if i will press control c and paste see here uh, in the delhi we have got the data now let me delete this i will choose all i will just press delete and data is deleted now i will go to the day 5 and we have the data i will choose this all data this is the filter data and for this filter data we have we can't say control c and control v right if we will do that it will copy all the data it will copy all the data so for that we press alt there we press this now i have pressed the alt it will take this this one see the dot and uh, we have the dot and comma so this is semicolon we have two dots this is called colon two dots is called colon one dot with comma is called semicolon so because i have pressed alt now if i will press this it will give us the output as colon let me show you let me choose the cell alt if i will press this it will give us colon one second i have chosen this i think so that's why let me okay okay so now i will press alt and i will press this one second okay we have taken the filter so that's why it is showing us so let me remove this filter because then we will move further so i will go to the filter now the filter is get removed now i will go to the go anywhere for example i am here and i will press alt and i will press this it will give us colon why it is not giving one second let me press w now this is semicolon but with alt if i will press this okay we have to choose alt and then one second it is not giving let me press from my keyboard alt should give okay 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 my apology uh, that is for shift my apology uh shift and this that's fine and normal is uh, semicolon now okay now let's let's come to the point choose all the data and we have to filter out i mean uh, we don't need to choose uh, the all data right now we have filter out so go to uh, data and go to the filter from the filter choose delhi press okay 
now we have the data this is the data we are looking for so I will choose all the data from top to bottom and now we have to copy we we have to we can copy it control C and paste where we want as control V but no we, we do we will not do this we will click alt then we will click this semicolon button now what it has done it has only selected which are visible so visible cell are selected control C now you will press control C you will go to Delhi sheet or or, or in, into the any sheet or any location where you want the data so control V now we get all the data which we were looking for same way if I want the Delhi but I want East Delhi so I will you know I will go see the our vertical bar and I will choose region and I will choose East I will choose OK so East region is get selected now first of all to get rid of this press escape this one ESC go to the product choose all the data and uh, let me do one more thing let me take uh, uh, the price as 57 we have 98 and 57 I am I want the 57 now I want the particular product ID I want the product ID 11 I want 21 I want 31 I want 41 that's it I will press ok so this is the filter data which I want the what as a output so now I will just choose this data press alt press this one semicolon button now the the data is selected as a visible cell so I will press control C go to the data go here and control V now we have the data and just uh, out of it so after that now we have the data so this is called filtering this is called filtering right we have filtered the data as per our requirement now to remove the filter we will go to the home uh, we will go to the data and we will go to the filter or we even if I will press filter it will clear I mean filter will be the data will be unfiltered and Uh, 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 click on clear then data will be filter and press escape okay see if you want to remove this one go to data and go to the filter okay so we have in this way we can do the filtering now we can do any kind of filtering which we are looking for and we can just simply apply the filter alt semicolon button and just paste control V where we want to it to be pasted hope the point is clear see you soon in the next session thank you so much hello today's session is sorting what is sorting for example let me take some data for example I have the data I have the product ID or I have the okay let me write any ID and I am writing the ID like randomly 34 23 67 89 76 21 34 34 is done right so 89 so uh, one two three six seven eight seven five now we have the data with us so what is the sorting so go to the data I have choose the ID go to the data and see the sort A to Z Z to A what is what what is the meaning of that 
so let me do the sorting then you will uh, let me copy this and I will paste here control C and control V so let me color it so this is our reference data and this is our output or the data on which we are working right so if you want the border go to the home choose all borders same way for this one if you want the borders go to the home choose all borders now i will choose this m1 id go to the data i will choose sorting now it is asking me so see what is happening here sort by what by id sort on cell values definitely and smallest to largest or largest to smallest if i will choose smallest to largest let me show you the result then i will explain 1 2 3 5 6 7 8 9 so this is in ascending order ascending order what is ascending order let me out of it ascending order means low to high low to high ascending order means low to high same way if i will choose i will just copy and paste here and choose this and this is our second output so let take little bit more green now i will choose id this one uh, this one is a let me write it asc i have to make you understand that it's in ascending order and this is in descending order and this is our data id data okay id that's fine so choose any one here here anyone go to the data and click on sort now when we have chosen the sort it's asking sort by what sort by id descending dsc means descending means high to low so it's largest to smallest largest to smallest so that is descending descending order double click what is happen here highest to low high or large to smallest smallest so what is happening double click here highest number will come first then lowest then lowest then lowest then lowest then lowest then lowest so decreasing descending means dis decreasing ascending means increasing low to high largest to smallest now let me take one more data set and let me take uh, this let me okay let me copy this all and i will go to the sheet 2 and i will paste here now what i will do i will make some kind of let me make the duplicacy so what will happen because i want to show you what will happen when we do we will duplicate the data and how it will get order uh, i mean arranged so go to the data and go to the sort and take it as a to z okay this is choosing all so i don't want odd see here sort by it's not showing us so i will choose sort by column c column d column e so this is c column this is d column e i want c column so choose c okay but there is mistake let me now how to uh, i mean for example you have mistakenly done something and you want to go to the previous step you will click control z and if you want to again that step you will click control by control z control by control z plus z and control plus by so control z control by so control z means 
undo control by means redo this is the name so in the normal control z means we want to go to the previous step and if we are in the previous step and we want to you know uh, uh, remove that so then i mean we want to come to again that step then we will click control plus y now here one so let me control z control z control z control z or what i will do i will do control by and i will just control c and control v here okay that is fine descending control x control v and double click okay now we have to sort a quid ascending uh, ascending so id uh, let me copy and paste from here so id and here now if i will choose data and i will choose sort what will happen see there is something happening it is choosing this all but i i don't want it to be choose on that basis i just want it to be chosen only this one so i will choose this complete and i will choose data and i will choose sort now it will ask expand the selection but i don't want to expand because i don't want this to be if i will choose that it will you know as I, i mean this all this will also uh, change the position but i don't want here any change i want the change in the c column so continue with the current selection sort so it is giving us column c that is fine this is column c small to lar largest yes ascending means smallest to largest okay okay one second control z and let me show you we are missing something sort continue with current selection sort and my data has headers see we have to choose this my data has headers because if i am not choosing it is considering this also and it is getting arranged but i don't want it to be arranged because it should be fixed now i will choose okay now this is lowest to highest Lo one is low then second low is also one because one exists two times same way 2 2 3 3 5 5 6 6 7 7 8 8 21 21 23 23 34 34 67 67 76 76 89 89 89 that's it same way for the descending we don't need to choose like that we can just for example i will choose data and i will choose sort it is choosing all but i don't want it to be choose as all already explained so we will choose this all but this one only because we want the sorting on this not on all so sort continue with the current selection sort id dsc fine largest to smallest okay now we have 89 89 89 89 76 76 89 is four times yes 67 67 34 34 and in the end we have one so this is called sorting same way for example uh this is our data set so let me copy this control c one second choose this data set okay let let filter some data set then do the sorting so i want new york so i want go to the data choose filter and choose new york i want new york and okay i want the reason east and i want particular products i want product number 1 i want 21 i want 35 i want this 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 one let me choose randomly 
so we are doing filtering so we have the filter data we, i will choose this all data now we have chosen this selected the data we will type alt colon control c go to the sheet 2 and let's go to the sheet 1 and control v choose all and double click so they are arranged if you want to be arranged manually you can do that i have done that also i want to the uh, give the color go to the home and this is kind of output so i will green okay now this is the filter data and now for this filter data for example if you asked for the new york and you asked for the reasons then what you will do you will just filter out new york you will filter out east and if you ask for the particular product looking for you will filter out that and you will just alt colon copy paste here now you have to arrange it for example you ask to arrange basis on product id let me copy and paste arrange it basis on product id so how you can do that just uh, keep the cursor on any cell of your table go to data go to sort now it has chosen all that is fine now we want the sort basis on product id so i will choose product id basis on smallest to largest that is fine okay so this is already in that way that's fine okay let me take it as uh, data and arrange it in descending order so product id that is fine and largest to smallest now data will change okay let me take it as control z and let me take it as uh, some kind of blue color so this is will be the input for us now from this input i will show you different different kind of sorting control c control v choose all and arrange it now we have the product id and we want the sorting basis on product id go to the data go to the sort sort by product id smallest to largest or largest to smallest so i want it to be largest to smallest okay this is arranged okay largest to smallest this is the data asked now other data asked uh, from you is that give us the data basis on what basis on quantity or basis on because we have we have only one location here so we don't have for that let me do one thing let me change uh, it to houston boston but it will not bother okay let me do one thing let me take it as east west okay north but okay th that is fine i will not uh, uh, let me think okay. uh, for quantity basis on quantity we want for example so control c and control v here so how we can do that control c and right click special and value so for that we will copy this data I am showing you uh, one by one we can the same thing directly on here okay I am just showing you control V so you will get the better understanding what we have done this is the input this is the output this is the output so that's I am doing to make you understand better otherwise we can done this on uh, the data set we have directly okay and uh, you can download this file uh, the files are also attached so you can download okay so we have the quantity now I want the data to be sorted basis on the quantity so go to the data go to sort and I want it to be sorted basis on quantity smallest to largest or largest to smallest so okay now you can see the change here this is 80 but this is 70 this is 52 this is 75 so largest to smallest
smallest. So in this way we can do the sorting for different headers or the different columns of the table. We have done the sorting for product ID, we have done the sorting for quantity. Now let's go to the data set and go to the data and clear the filter. Now the filter is clear. Copy this all data, control C and add new sheet and control V and choose all and arrange accordingly. So this is our input, give it a color, kind of color, let me give it a blue color. Now let me choose all and after that we will copy it and paste it. Control C, Control V. Okay, we have this data. Control C and we will go upward and we will paste here and we will choose again and arrange it accordingly and I will give it a color because this will be this is going to our output now what kind of output we are looking for we are looking for location wise smallest to largest small to large okay so we will uh, keep the cursor on the table we have or the data set go to the data and one more thing this is uh, we are considering it a table but it's not a completely a table it's it's a partial table okay okay so data and uh, we will choose data and we will choose uh, sorting basis on what basis on location so we will choose location from here and we want it to be a to z small to large so okay so now we can see that Boston 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 then after Boston let's see what is coming after Boston we are getting go down 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 let me see so we have Chicago that is fine so data is arranged in so we can see that this data is arranged as we were looking for so in this way we can do the sorting now if you want the sorting on two columns instantly I mean I want the sorting basis on two columns or three columns how we can do that at a time a single time how, how we can achieve that so for example I want this data control C and let me add new sheet Control V and choose this all. Now we want the sorting basis on what we want it to be product ID, we want it to be basis on quantity, and we want to be basis on location or uh, not quantity, and we want to be based on location. That is fine. So we have to decide for these we want it to be sorted but what will be kind of output we are we want ascending order or descending order so ascending order ascending order means uh, high to low h i g h to low quantity we want low to high low to high and let me let me remove the location for now otherwise it will be complicated for you to understand at first place I will choose uh, let me copy paste here control C and control V we will choose all okay let me arrange it right so we want the output basis on product ID and quantity to be sorted 
so sorting right now to sort it i will go to the data and i will choose sort and first of all we have to apply on product id and i want it to be high to low uh, high to low means descending order so and i have to add the level this is first level so this is called leveling if we are doing the sorting for one particular column that is fine but if we want for two column three column then we need to add the level i will add the level second second level is quantity or uh, and i want it also to be low to high and i will explain you what will happen here 750 high this is high than 35 but you can see that 89 is high then why it is called high to low but what, what is what is the meaning of that if i am doing it as high to low and this is as low to high uh, one second of my approach is uh, okay this is one one okay so this is not a perfect example you will not get understand but let me try to understand if you not i will share you another example so have, we have done high to low so this is 750 749 748 757 746 so this is high to low that is fine clear now quantity is low so low i mean 43 is low for 750 so 749 uh, for 749 35 is low but 748 it is coming as high so actually this is not high because this is only the number which exists for 748 so that's why it giving us as 89 so uh, let me let me uh, give you another example uh, let me take take okay what we will do we will sort basis on location location high to low and quantity low to high now you will get understand so go to the data and take it as sort and we will delete the level i will delete this okay first level i want the first level to be location so take the location and it to be sorted as high to low z to a another level is low to high for quantity choose quantity choose as smallest to largest that is fine okay now i will make you understand our output is quantity and new york so new york new york new york new york new york, new york. okay so new york is n new york after that we have what we have let me take the i mean we have new york we have let me show you let me copy this and i will choose here and let me sort it data and sort and it bases on location and we have taken high to low so i will take here high to low and okay so so we have first new york then houston then chicago then boston right so this should be arranged like that so let's see it is happening or not so first is new york Let, let's freeze i have already explained to you about freeze we want to freeze uh, but I want to see New York, Houston, Chicago, Boston. So I will freeze this row. This row. So go to the data. Uh, one second. Go to the view and go to the freeze pan and freeze pans. Now this will get freeze. If I will go down, it will constant. Okay. Now let's see it is happening after New York we have Houston, Chicago, Boston. So let's check is this happening or not. So down arrow button go down 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 New York after New York it should be Houston. So let's see that it is happening or not. So see after New York we are getting Houston that is fine. So high to low then it is uh, sh uh, chicago after new york that is fine and last will be boston obviously 
so first sorting is completed high to low that is fine first is very simple first sorting is very simple i will go to the vertical bar keep it upward now the second is low to high this one you need to understand for the new york okay this is new york and we want quantity should be arranged in the form of low to high so one for the new york what is the lowest number here is the new york for the new york we have sorted now for the new york we will find the lowest number because this is low to high so lowest number is one then highest two 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 because this is duplicate then it will arrange accordingly so two 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 three four four five six fifteen eighteen now let's find where is houston go down 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 see the number is increasing here 49 50 51 52 it's like that so let's let's get the houston now houston is again start from one why because one is also exist for houston and new york is come uh, I mean New York is the last number for New York is 90 the highest number for New York is 90 right now Houston is starting from 1 quantity 2 3 4 same way so 1 2 this is going low to high same way if i will add another i want it to be arranged because the reason are not arranged they are north like that east north they are not arranged so if i will put another uh, column for the filtration part it will also included in that part and that it will be sorted in that way hope you have get the clarity how we can use the sorting let me give you a little bit brief what we have done we have just done normal sorting ascending order and descending order on id then we have uh, done for the duplicacy uh, duplicacy is here day six that is five six that is five small to large okay so this one this one we have done uh, the location small to large that is fine and we have done uh, this one we have done uh, high to low okay this one we had done two three four one okay so we have done uh, the normal sorting on ascending and descending here and then i have a uh, brief view about control z and control y then we have done location small to largest then we have done for multiple location uh, multiple columns location multiple header or column location and quantity sorting so we have get the output like this and we have done the freezing here so we will able to see new york and host in chicago is it arranged in that way or not if you want to remove the uh, the freeze pan you can remove that and freeze so these will be removed same base sheet one we have done for the product id separately and then we have done for the quantity separately and here we have done not the separately we have done uh, two, for two uh, columns uh, instant i mean at a, a time so in that way we have done the sorting hope you have got the clarity see you soon in the next session thank you so much hello today's session is drop down okay so for the drop down you need to understand what is drop down drop down means we can choose the value of uh, i mean we have a choice to choose the value right so let's create the drop down for example i want to create the drop down for Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, 
and this number how I can do that for that you have to first of all decide where you are going to create this drop down for example I want to create the drop down here so let me color it so I want the drop down here and let border it okay so to create the drop down from Jan to Fab what we will do we will go to the data and we will go to the data validation here this one click here and from allow we'll choose list now this is source source mean which source you are going to apply so we want this source so we will choose this one Jan to December and I will choose OK OK I have done mistake because I have taken it here so to remove that just control Z it will get removed this is our I mean the cursor should be here because here we want to apply this so go to the data again go to the data validation click on list source the source is this ok now we have the drop down ready with us see we have Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December same way for example if I want the drop down for the accept reject or I want the drop down for yes no if I want the drop down for pending close how we can do that first of all choose the column where you want to apply it so I want to apply it here I want to border just copy and control V and control V okay so for accept and reject I want here so go to the data and we have selected already uh, where we want to apply this go to the data validation and wait for some moment let me close this and try again data data validation list and from the list we will apply it on the source source is accept reject okay so we have accept we have reject here we have the month we can choose reject so this is the drop down now here I want the drop down go to the data go to the data validation choose as list and the source is yes no ok now we have yes no ready with us very simple same way for this we want pending and close go to the data go to the data validation choose list and list the source is this pending close ok and check this out we have pending we have close now if we want this to be applied directly for example I want the pending close directly to be applied how we can do that so let me take this one and take it a little bit more greener and take it as all powder if I want to apply here pending and close but uh, uh, this time I want directly directly how can we achieve that so first of all choose where you want to apply the uh, the drop down go to the data go to the data validation close this try again data data validation list now source 
we will type previously we had taken the source from uh, the reference but now we will type it for example we want pending so pending and comma we want close and ok now we will get the same pending close pending close same way I want for yes no I will copy here copy here go to the home take the color take all border go to the data go to the validation data validation choose the list and take the source as yes no ok now we have the output no yes no yes so in this way we can do the I mean we can create the drop down list hope you have got the clarity see you soon in the next session thank you so much today's session is conditional formatting so what is formatting for example to uh, for example this is the data set and for the Nokia or I mean the normal formatting is that for example let me copy paste some data control C and control V here so this is the data set with us now I want to format it I want the color for this is the header and I want the header to be uh, I will go to the home I want the header to be look like uh, this color and I want this uh, the I mean the data I want it to be like italic and I want it to be color I, I want the color here also so I will take the color here like this like this so this is normal format if we are doing if you want it to be you know I want the border outside border to be uh, the thick border I will take the thick border now it's thick outside so this is normal formatting we are formatting our data so that we will get the better visualization now here is the data I will control C and I will paste here so which which data is most uh, attractive this this one right so this is just normal uh, uh, normal formatting okay but I want what is conditional formatting conditional formatting means basis on some condition I want the data to be I mean the, the condition basis on the condition for example for example we have the Nokia and I want this I, I will choose this data set okay and I want Nokia to be highlighted I will go to the home and I will go to the conditional formatting and I will hi click on hi highlight cell rules equal to what equal to Nokia so we want to highlight Nokia we will choose Nokia we will go to the home we will go to the conditional formatting and we will choose highlight cell rules equal to Nokia we will write Nokia now it's up to us which color we want the by default we have yellow we have green we have light red pill and if you want to custom then we can choose custom so now we will choose the color of our choice for example for the Nokia I want it to be blue and font should be white and it should be bold 
okay so this is the conditional formatting we are getting the nokia is getting highlighted so this is called conditional formatting basis on the condition we are getting the output so what is the condition we have applied here we are saying give us i mean show or, or color or format the data which has nokia now uh, we have lg we have samsung here and in place of samsung if i will write here nokia it will highlight it so that is the power of conditional formatting so this is one way to do it i mean uh, for uh, we are just formatting the nokia now if we want to format apple for different color we will choose all uh, the data set for which we want to apply the conditional formatting and we will choose highlight cell rules equal to highlight cell rules equal to apple and we want it to be red okay so the apple is getting highlighted with red now for example we have the quantity and for the quantity i'm choosing this and i'm going to the home i'm going to the conditional formatting and i want to highlight some number so highlight cell rules that is greater than what which is greater than for example 20 so hi highlight the cells which are greater than 20 and i want to color it with light red or i want it to be yellow yellow is already there green okay so these are the data set which is highlighted right so this is actually showing us what the condition is that the greater than 20 greater than 20 same way for example here we have the or for example uh, this data set for this data set let's for the quantity now uh, choose this and i want to highlight Uh, the less than what less than 30 I want it to be red so see so we are this the data is getting highlighted here we are uh, greater than 20 now let uh, apply one more data set which is less than 20 so to less than 20 we have to choose highlight cell rule less than what 20 so less than 20 we have to take less than 20 and so uh, the which is less than 20 now which is 12 and 13 so we can apply more than one condition to i mean more than one condition means we can apply one condition two three four five it's up to us and here if i want it to be for example home go to home and conditional and apply some icon so for the icon let's take a shape or this the indicators okay so we are getting the indicators but uh, there is no sense here so let me make the sense uh, so i will just remove this formatting because this is no sense so I will show you what is the use of this so clear rules clear form selected cells now if here uh, let me add something that if okay let me show you uh, the if for example this is actually the if function so it is the logical test and if uh, what if to uh, if the condition is uh, passed then it give us true and if fail it give us false so uh, i am taking the condition if this is greater than 20 then so if uh, m17 is greater than 20 then i mean if it is true then it will give us one otherwise it will give us zero this is the condition that's it i am just applying the simple condition so i will just copy this condition control c and i will just paste here control v so now uh, this is just simple condition but if i want it to be if i mean if it is greater than 20 it will check first 20 then one now i will put one more if so 
I will show you, uh, I will explain this function in later session. Right now, just try to understand the conditional formatting. If you are getting it, that that's good. If not, then I will explain you uh, later. So if uh, we have uh, the if function, now the next condition is, if this is less than zero, then it will give us minus one. Else, it will give us zero whatever be the condition it will give us zero so i will copy it paste it and i will randomly just type here some negative number to get the negative one okay so now i will just uh, this is actually the number we have and i will go to the home and i will just apply the conditional formatting and i will choose icon set so for the icon set i am uh, taking the indicators so actually there there is no sense we are not aware what is happening here i mean so uh, let's let's go to the home and go to the conditional formatting and go to the manage rules and double click here and so our we have to set the condition here so the it it will be great if it will give us green if it is greater than zero so greater than zero so we will type zero and it's it should be number and this is also a number so we will choose it as greater than zero because if it is zero then we will take it as equal to zero if it is greater than zero means it is one two three four so it will give us uh, the uh, as one or or we can say that here greater than equal to one okay and here we can say that if it is less than one and greater than one second uh, when uh, like, uh, less than zero that is fine means it is negative number and here when it is zero or greater than equal to zero and less than one then it will give us this so I will OK. I will take it as OK and apply and OK. So now we this is getting. So that is fine. So, so this is the conditional formatting. We have uh, applied the conditional formatting. So our condition is if it is 1, then this sign yes. If this is uh, not, if this is equal to 0, then it will give us this sign. And if it is negative number, it will give us cross sign. So it depends upon the kind of scenario you have you can choose it now one more thing let's take this price and go to the home and conditional formatting and choose as data bars so this is very beneficial let me take this see we are getting the bars also and choose this all go to the home and sort it go to the data go to the data and click on sort and we want it to be based on what the price so we will choose the price and we want largest to high smallest now it is arranged like that right so in in that way we can set the data bars if we want to you know choose some another data bars we will go to the conditional formatting and we can choose the data bars like green one I want the green one so green one is applied here go to the home go to the conditional formatting go to the manage rules and this one is applied so you can change as per your if you have uh, the see we have the quantity also I want the data bar so I have to first just remove the conditional formatting for this particular section so I will delete this rule and I will ok and I will go to the home and I will go to the conditional formatting and I will choose the data bars and I want it to be blue so the negative this is red because this is the negative number minus 25 minus 23 and other is this so this is in, in this way we can apply the data bars same way uh, if something uh, for example something is starting from S or something starting from for example here A apple LG I'll let me write down something here in place of Nokia let, let me write down here S A M uh, okay okay let me type 
S A S A T E X T just a random number to show you what I am going to do. I will go to the home. I will go to the conditional formatting. I uh, highlight that rule which contains what S A. Now everything will be highlighted which will contain S A. Now S A is here. If I will type L G S A, it will also highlighted. L G S A, L G S A, Samsung. So that is the conditional formatting. Now as per the data set, what kind of data set you have, as per your requirements, you can apply the conditional formatting. Hope you have got the clarity. Sometime what happens, uh, the mostly used uh, for example, yes, no. So let's let's take the validation. For example, uh, if this is, uh, for example, we need something, is it yes i mean something that has yes no okay option so i will just take the conditional format of uh, uh, conditional formatting first of all let's take the data validation go to the data and data validation uh, go to the list and take yes no okay yes no accepted rejected okay so that kind of for that we need mostly the conditional formatting the order is accepted or rejected now we will just just copy this and we will paste here control V uh, and let me type here some kind of status and let me take it as yes and just copy it and just paste here so it will be faster now we can choose no we can choose no somewhere but i want to filter out we have lot of data okay this see this this data is very large uh, i mean this is has 35 number but if we have data thousand even the data is small we can use that so we want yes to be highlighted no to be highlighted i will choose this the section and i will go to the home conditional formatting and i will choose highlight cell rules that contain or equal to yes or no no means red and go to the home again conditional formatting and highlight set rule equal to yes for the yes which color we want to apply we want to apply green color so we will take the green one now if i will change the status yes to no see the color is changing now we can apply the filter here I will choose this one I will go to the home and oh, my apology go to the data and go to the filter and choose the status we can choose it basis on yes no and also basis on color I want it to be basis on what I want it to be one second I want it to be basis on red one so we have no and I want it to be basis on green one font color is green because it has the space uh, the space uh, the cell is green and the font color is also green so that's why it is giving us four time type of color so either you can choose out of these or either you can choose out of this both are same thing so I want the no status so we will get the no status and if we want from here we can choose from here no or yes or all so it's up to you so in this way we can apply the conditional formatting Hope you have got the clarity about the conditional formatting. See you soon in the next session. Thank you so much. So, the our session is conditional formatting. In the previous session, I explained you about the conditional formatting. Let's remove the filter, go to the data, and remove the filter. And now, for example, I want to the color scale. So, I will choose the E column. I will go to the home go to the conditional formatting and the color scales so choose any of the color scales of your choice so this is actually the color gradient it's up to you which color you want to choose so because this layer set is uh, the data set is large so let's take this one 1 to 10 1 to 11 then you will get the understanding of this color scale so let me first of all make it as no color 
and I will go to the conditional formatting and I will choose as the color 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 scales I am taking this so what is happening here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 if I will make it 15 what will happen if I will make it 7 8 one second if I will make it as very large number what will happen it is same the yellow this is the greenest so actually the lowest number is red if I will make it as minus 4 5 it will go more red the this is the I mean actually what is happening here if I will take it as 1 and I will take it as uh, 11 so it is going from there are red to yellow to green so higher the number the I mean the green gre the green color will increase so it is adjusting the coloring as per the data inside here okay the lowest the number the red then if it is lies between lowest and largest then it is going yellow now I will go to the home and condition formatting color scales I am choosing this now it is the opposite it is going from red yellow green so red is the highest here green yellow red means green highest number yellow lowest number and red is the lowest I mean yellow is middle middle number here uh, red yellow green yellow will be the middle but red will be the highest and green will be the lowest number same here uh, we have green white red color combination we have green white uh, red white green combination we have blue white red color combination we have red white blue color combination white red color scale only white and red then we have, I mean two scales only we have red white color scales we have green uh, green white color scale we have white green we have yellow green we have green yellow and more rules we want to i mean we we can choose the color of our choice okay so in this way we can do the color scaling conditional formatting now let's take the do the same thing for the quantity i will go to the home and i will go to the conditional formatting and i will choose color scales this one or this one or this one or this one right so green one means uh, what is happening so if I will filter out the green one go to the home and data now it is easier for us to I mean if I will do by color uh, we have uh, quantity we have we need the green filter by color we need a green it's green here why it is not coming quantity we need this is white we need green it should be green why it's not coming very strange more cell colors okay and there are a lot of colors so we want so we have green color so what I will do I will just uh, go to the data and remove the filter and here I will go and home I will use two color cell only for the data scaling so we have this one white red okay and this is green white so I will choose this one and I will go I will choose this I will go to the home and finish uh, one second I will go to the data and choose filter so filter by color so green or one second filter so green and okay this is actually okay so this is for visualization purpose we can filter it out mm. also but because it's has too many color so remove the filter now visualization is that 
we have I mean this one this one I mean we can see that which is the highest sale 91 I mean the visualization I will say the more the greener green color means 75 71 see 91 so this one so that is the meaning of color scale hope you have get the clarity see you soon in the next session thank you so much hello today's session is charts so there are main four types of charts bar chart main chart waterfall and pie chart Okay, we have this data set and if we want to create the chart, we will choose the data set. Okay, after that we have to go to insert. And we have to choose the chart which we are going to create. So I am choosing the bar chart. And you can choose the chart of your choice 3d column 3d bar so i'm choosing the 2d column chart and the chart will be ready within fraction of seconds all right so we have the bar chart ready so let me write the chart title as bar chart all right so chart is ready now we have nokia samsung apple lg philips the blue one is for sale orange one is for loss and this gray one is for count right now if we want the labels we just click here and i mean click on the data bar i mean the bar any one bar so all the bar we are selected w1 right click and choose add data label same way choose the orange one right click add data label same for the gray one right click add data label so in this way our bar chart is ready you can resize the chart as per your requirements right so our chart is ready now if we want to change the design for the chart how we can do that so uh, see uh, we have the data label 553 35387 for every i mean the nokia the samsung now if you want to change the chart we will go to the ch chart design uh, see the chart design here and from here we can choose the chart of our choice there are a lot of options so you can choose any chart if you want more option just click here and you can choose any one right all right so in this way we can create the bar chart for example if we have to create the line chart how we can do that just choose the data set to go to the insert and here we have the insert line chart so this is the line chart ready with us very simple line chart line chart same way if you want any other chart for example let's create i'm choosing the data set insert and I want the area chart we can choose this one we can choose this one so we have the area chart with us so this is area chart we have area chart ready with us okay so area chart is ready now 
if we want the number also the label also we can get that also for example uh, I, I mean for this the line chart we want uh, the agent I mean the labels just choose line chart right click the same way add labels labels will be added so it's up to you as per your visualization if you need the labels you can do that if you don't need the labels you just want to visualize you can go without labels same way for the area chart okay so we have the area chart we have the label chart we have same way for the area chart we can choose the area and we can add the data label same way for the gray part add data label same way for the blue part add data labels so in this way we can create the chart of our choice if you want to change the design i already told you go to the chart design and choose the design of your choice that's it we are creating the chart design so we can choose the design you can resize and actually remove the data labels just I mean click on any one so the series will be selected okay it can be blue series it can be orange and it can be gray and press delete same way this is for gray one choose any one and delete so all will be deleted data labels are deleted so in this way we can create the charts and same way for example see here we have the option the styles same way because if you want to ch change the design from here you can uh, from the top the menu bar you can do that if you want uh, to get the style uh, from here just this the paint type button just click here i mean not button the it's kind of uh, uh, the pencil not pencil but brush so just select uh, click on it and you will get the lot of option for multiple charts available same way for the color you can choose the color of your choice so now see the plus uh, side click on plus side now what is this example the chart title you don't want the chart title disable the chart title now chart title is gone axis this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis we don't want the x-axis we don't I mean we don't want the axis we will disable axis are gone legion these are legion the blue is representing sale the orange representing loss gray representing cost we don't want the legion legions are gone grid lines what is the grid lines these are the grid lines see this one uh, this see one two three four five six these one these these are grid lines this this is the grid line if you don't want the grid line uh, click on plus sign and disable the grid line grid lines are gone legends will be gone see but you want the legend legend now legends are available you want grid lines grid lines are available so in this way for example for uh, for the area chart let me i want the axis also i want axis title also i want legend also and if you want to you know change the position of the legend you can do that just click here and See, with the mouse, you can just choose the grid line. I mean, you can just 
put the grid line where you want to. So I don't want this axis tighter. So how to remove that? Go to the plus sign. I don't want the axis tighter. I want chart tighter. Okay. Same way here. And this is our legend. We want the legend at the bottom. So choose this and just arrange it. So in this way you can arrange it also as per your choice. Hope you have got the clarity how to create the bar chart, how to create the line chart, how to create the area chart. Next is pie chart and waterfall chart. So let's create the pie chart. I'm choosing only the same one. Okay. I mean only the same because pie chart uh, let me show you for the insert i just going to the pie and i'm taking a pie now see just click here and right click and add data label mostly the pie the use of pie is when we have kind of percentage the data is in percentage uh, mostly we use the pie chart at that time so let me take I mean, let me take one sheet and I'm just giving it the name as pie chart. So I will show you properly. I am taking the data. I'm just deleting this one. I choose the chart and just press the delete button. And I'm just copy pasting the data. Control C and copy paste the data to the pie chart sheet. Now I am just taking the name and sales, insert and choose pi and 2D pi. So this the pi chart is ready. So Nokia, Samsung, Apple, LG, Philips. Now uh, just click on the pi and right click and click on add labels. We have the labels with us. But, uh, I mean uh, the pi chart is used when we need kind of percentage. How much percentage is taken by whom? For example, uh, let me show you. If if I want to take the percentage, I will just copy and paste here. Now, let's calculate. Do the calculation percentage sale. Just increase. To find uh, to the, to the uh, to do the calculation, we have to find the total. So what is the total? So total will be the sum of the data set. So I am taking the sum, sum sum, and we will take the sum of this data set and enter. Three double four four one is the sum. Now uh, the percentage total will be is equal to. We have to. Uh, Press the equal sign because we are creating the formula and I have already mentioned you in my first session that to the formula always start from equal sign. So equal sign now we want how much percentage is taken by Nokia. So the Nokia the which is a B10 divided by the total total amount right and enter. Now if I will drag it i will just copy and paste it it will not give us correct result for remaining because see the value is coming and even these are not correct result why because uh, the b8 is fixed but here we have b8 but next line it is coming b9 which is wrong so we need to fix it so dollar sign is used to fixed so i will just choose b8 or i will just uh, in front of b just get the dollar sign and dollar sign will come by pressing shift and four button because on the four there is a dollar sign and we can press shift and four button and enter now we will just copy control c and we will choose the range and control v now we will get the correct answer so also because this is not percentage this is the number to get it into percentage even we can 
multiply it by 100 or what we can uh, the second thing we will choose the range uh, we will go to the home and here the percentage size now it is 16 percent 25 percent 18 percent now if i will take the sum of these all ranges it will give us 100 let's check it out equal to sum and we will choose the range and enter it will give us 100 percent so means our calculation is correct so let me take the border go to the home take all border so we have all border and for the age sale let's take it as kind of i mean we have to take it. let's take uh, the blue color we have okay and this is calculated so let's give it some kind of color okay so this is uh, and make it bold age percentage save okay now what next next is to create the chart i mean uh, it's not that we can't uh, create a pie chart for uh, the numbers we can do that also but i am just uh, uh, telling you that mostly pie chart is used for uh, when we need kind of percentage i mean how much percentage is taken by a particular item or particular product okay so i will just keep it side i mean this is the number so that is fine i'm just keeping it side and now what we will do we will choose name then we will press control button then we will choose percentage sale because we need this now we will go to insert and we will go to the pie and we will choose the pie chart and just click on the circle any uh, and we have to choose add data labels right to delete it just click on chart press delete button again i am telling you how to create the pie chart just choose the legend the item because for this name is the item for which we are going to create the chart and what will be the number that is the percentage so control button uh, let me press uh, do it again so choose the range for which name so name is selected now to uh, choose the percentage we have to press control button and then we have to choose the range now we will go to the insert and click on the pie see here and click on 2d pie pie chart is ready just click on the pie right click click on add labels percentages are here so this is the percentage sale nokia samsung apple so how much percentage is taken by who so that is pie chart we can increase the size and we, if we don't want the title, we can delete the title and we can arrange accordingly. So this is, in this way we can create the pie chart. Now, for example, uh, for this, uh, see this is actually, uh, the option is uh, filter. So filter means for example for this particular chart if you want a particular item to be viewed we will go here and we can choose if we want only nokia and samsung that's it nothing else okay. nokia samsung apple we want Nokia only and we want only Samsung and we have to click on apply yes so we are getting 25% and 16% okay if we want uh, for example let me choose all and apply so everything is coming uh, and let me change the design go to the chart design or you can go here the brush and here you can choose the chart of your choice which will fits better you can choose that 
here the the legends is also coming nokia samsung so and this one okay now if uh, i want a particular item to be selected i will choose the filter i will i i want to know the comparison between nokia and samsung so we will apply click on apply so 25% is by uh, the this one this the orange is representing what samsung so 25% is by samsung and 16% is by nokia same way we can increase the filtration we want only equal i mean the difference between i mean the comparison mostly the pie chart is used for comparison we can how much percentage is taken by who same way if we want the comparison between apple and lg apply so hope you have got the clarity how to create the pie chart now if right so we have the pie chart with us and let's take something different yes okay so legends is representing like this philips nokia samsung lg now it's up to you how you want the visualization okay if you want them in the center how i mean you can do it manually but how you can do it by just one click so just click on any label if you want it to be in the center right click click on format data label so we have the option here we can we want it to be because it is outside the end see this is outside the end if I, we want it into the center now they are in the center because the number is long very long so that's why they are not showing us properly and they are in blue and orange so now for that we need to take the color different so for that we need to take the color here and we will take the color kind of white so we will see now it is getting viewed but they are just uh, overlapping with each other so for that this chart will not i mean if, if we want it to be in the center then what we need to do we need to take the chart design different so this is not applicable i mean this is not good design for uh, that you see this one is okay i mean this this one is okay but okay we can say this is fine but according to me if we want the uh, the label into the center the best design will be let me choose which will be without label that will be the best design okay let me del delete it and create the chart again actually this is for the format of the shape shape which is not used mostly okay so no uh, just uh, choose name control choose the series of percentage sale and go to the insert and click on pie chart and if you want to delete, delete it you can delete from here and if you want to delete i mean if you don't want the chart title you can disable the chart title add data labels right click add data labels uh, data labels are added now if we want to format the data labels uh, just click any, on any data labels right click and click on format data labels we have the design i mean we can just we want it to be white so see this this option we can choose let's remove this okay so we want the solid fill and the color okay this is this is one thing we can do that okay or if we want it to be uh, like the color for example i am taking this color so this is the border uh, we have if we want it to be like uh, the blue color so the border is blue now the transparency we can set the transparency Uh, you can see there is some little bit change on the water see the transparency 
so you can do that if you want to do that you you can make it gradient also gradient line also so it's, it's kind of formatting we can say the chart a chart for that so it's not uh, used mostly okay but if you want to do that you can do that so if you want the glow so you can do that uh, for example you want the glow like blue see the glow uh, to the chart same this is not for the pie chart every chart you can uh, do it for the light uh, the line chart the bar chart every chart okay size see the glowing is increasing so as per your requirements you can set the glow also you can set the transparency also see the transparency is increasing it is going more lighter see this one is good little bit three d format is uh, like it will go give us a three d look see it is giving us a three d look and let's uh, take the color so let's take the color blue color or little bit more darker or we can say this one or we can say this one is good or this one or this one right so in see this is kind of uh, it, it's giving us kind of 3d view so this is a 3d view so you can do the same thing for every chart you can do it for line chart you can do it for bar chart of your choice as per the requirements you can do that one more is gradient fill it gives more i mean this is also a kind of formatting see when we have taken it to solid fill see the difference this is looking like this now if we are taking gradient see so that is gradient fill so it is looking more attractive now this is the for the computer chart but i want this circle to be 3d so how we can do that we have to go here and we have the 3d format we can choose the 3d format of uh, well, I mean, as we want see the 3d format we have and so if you find that this one is good you can uh, you know, choose this one if you want this is good you can choose this one so as per your uh, I mean it's up to you which one fits best you can choose that one so I'm taking this one so we have 20 percent 18 percent it's a Nokia Samsung if you want to increase the you know the no, uh, Nokia Samsung this one we just want to increase the size we can do that also or let me make it as something more different I think this will be okay let me take it again and choose this one or we will take this one here we are finding a difficulty but it's okay so let's remove the remove the 3d formatting so the 3d formatting is removed So in this way we can do the formatting to the chart also we can make it 3d we can make it 2d if you same way uh, next one we have waterfall chart so for the waterfall we have just name it waterfall chart waterfall so uh, th this is just a demo data it's just a dummy data and so this is uh, x1 x2 x3 x4 this is kind of you can say the product we have or, or we can say the uh, yes product is this is actually let's take it as product so product means uh, i mean which product this is p and l so this is profit and loss
so you can assume that uh, this is just a dummy data so you can assume that this h1 is i mean when we are doing the sale of this particular product because when we if we have a manufacturing or whatever be the reason because if we are in loss that means the expenses is higher i mean the expenses are uh, high as compared to the sale that's why it is giving us negative because losses happens only when we have expenses increase so maybe x3 is the product of your company which exists so just you can presume that you are losing in this uh, product maybe whatever be the reason okay so the negative uh, the negative number means we are in loss so means expenses are higher for this product so the reason behind the loss it can be expenses it can be anything okay so that is not the our 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 uh, the goal is to understand the waterfall so you need to understand how water falls okay waterfalls like top to bottom like this like you know uh, like this uh, uh, let me let me design something insert Uh, it's like you see this is this one so this is actually the waterfall i will choose it okay first of all we need to uh, take the uh, data for which we are we are going to create waterfalls like this right see the my cursor is moving okay so that's why it's uh, let's uh, just choose the data for which we are going to create the waterfall go to the insert and choose the waterfall this one now we have the waterfall chart ready just give the chart title as waterfall waterfall chart right so blue is representing here uh, that is it is increasing orange is representing decreasing so let's make uh, the if you want to change the color just right click and just uh, click on the uh, we have the data labels already so just click on the blue one we want to change the color so right click and format data series and from here just click here see this one and we have to solid fill and one second all are going down because all are selected so okay first of all we want only blue one So we want only blue one, not the orange one. So let's just remove this or let's try to take the design. Okay, all are blue here. Okay, that's fine. So the orange. fill and it should be green uh, okay we have the uh, legend with us the increase the decrease the total so decrease is fine we can make it red or it's fine orange if you want to i mean change the color of particular bar just click on the label and right click and we have the fill option here and we will choose the green i want it to be green okay okay so we have now this is green in color okay if i will change that x1 is in loss somehow then it will turn into this will turn into orange see means it is you should see waterfall so this is waterfall this is like going uh, water uh, what water flows and also if it is falling down now it is increasing it is down increasing like that so i want it to be 10 okay same way uh, this is in in this way we can create the waterfall chart same way we can make it uh, like 3d for example uh, just right click and click on format chart area here we can 
choose okay for the chart area there is no 3d but for this there will be a 3d format so okay, for waterfall it's not showing us let's choose these bars and check 3d format it's not showing us for the 3d it's not giving us the option to check 3d let me try again for this particular chart okay it's not Okay, for the waterfall somehow uh, it's not giving it because I ha I never use this option honestly speaking okay so normally the chart design is enough for the because normally we, we need only we need to analyze the data now it's up to you okay so I want it to be like okay this one is perfect and I don't want the lesion so I can I don't want the grid grid lines I want lesion that is fine I don't want the grid lines I can remove that grid line so in this way we can create the waterfall chart hope you have got the clarity of how uh, the every chart is getting created uh, we can create the bar chart line chart waterfall chart just we have to choose the data and we will be uh, the data will be ready uh, the chart will be ready Hope you have uh, the proper understanding of the charts, how to create the chart. See you soon in the next session. Thank you so much. Hello. Today's session is pivot. So why we use pivot? Pivot is used actually to go into details or we can say that to get the data as per the requirement or to create the reports pivot plays very important role to create the reports so mostly pivot is used to create the reports for example in the data set this is the data set we have and we can say uh, we can see we have cell phones nokia apple samsung lg okay different uh, brands we have now if you i want the nokia total quantity or the price i mean price is 300 uh, definitely for per per i mean as per the data set uh, it's fixed that its price is 300 because there is no model it's only i mean it's it's kind of dummy data so because uh, Nokia has many models, Apple has many models. So as per the model, the price will vary. But here we don't have the models. We have just only the, I mean, to make you understand. So this is just a that kind of data. Now we have 300 fixed price. That is fine. But how many quantities are sold? So we are getting, for example, 2018 Nokia, then we have 2018 Nokia again so maybe uh, we can assume that we are getting this data from different data sources and we have consolidated that uh, the data now if we want to know how how what is the total for Nokia so how we can do that we can just I mean in the normal way I'm just telling you how how what will be our step so we will choose the data set we will just go to the data and we will choose filter okay and filter we will just if we want to know about apple we will choose apple and choose apple so the apple the data is filtered out now we can see that for the apple we have total quantity is coming here 11 i mean the sum is i mean the number is 11 but uh, the total sum we are getting is 419 okay so what we will do we will just copy it control C and we will insert new sheet and we will give it a name as uh, the brand wise okay brand wise report this is just uh, this is kind of normal way to create the report okay now we have 
apple and we will take the sum is equal to sum and we will choose the data set okay so we have 419 quantities okay so the price is 1000 so what will be the total price so we will take this e13 multiply by 1000 because 1000 is the price so total price is this 41900 we will just choose this we will go to the home and we will choose format painter and we will format so now this is the output we are getting home we will make it like green and this is apple and house turn so we will just copy it and paste it okay or we can just control x and we can keep it below and we will make the border outside border now we have apple house turn 419 total sale is this right same way if we want the this is for apple if we want for lg we will just filter out the lg and we will just copy paste the same thing similar to the apple we did control c go to go to the bandwise report and just choose the cell for which you want to create the report and just do the same thing because this is for the lg we will just copy this and for here we will just paste lg and georgia and we will take the sum so is equal to sum and we will choose the range and enter same way this is 350 so we will is equal to 350 uh, multiply by 350 343 multiply by 350 so this will be the total amount and what we will do we will just choose this go to the home and we will choose the format painter and we will just apply here and we will just increase it or what we can do one second it's not coming let me see what's the issue here why it is not coming let me take the format painter again and check this out okay i will choose the home and i will choose format painter and i will apply here okay i think i don't know why it's not coming let me okay it's coming now control x if we want it to be at one place we, we, we can control x and we can here control v okay in this way we can do the same thing for uh, the L nokia or the samsung okay but it's kind of lengthy process right it's not that we can't do uh, this or we can't use this we can do that that there is no problem so we can do that there is no problem with that we can go with that process also but for example if uh, the we if the data is too large or we have many products then it's not a good way if, if the data set is small then you can go with that it will not take too much time that is fine okay but the best way is to use the pivots okay to create the reports pivot plays very important role because at one some click we can fetch the complete report so we don't need to go one by one for example in this scenario we are going apple for apple separately then we are going and we are filtering for lg and then we are getting the number yes for the lg this is the total quantity till date and this is the total amount same way for the nokia this is the total quantity and this is the total amount okay we can go with that process there is no issue but now i will show you how we can use the pivot so i will just remove the filter go to the data and create the filter okay go to the data and apply the filter go to the data and clear the filter right okay 
just to create the pivot table first of all we choose we need to choose the data set so what is the total data set we have so this is our complete data set we will choose this data set and we will go to the insert and we will choose the pivot table for this we will choose the pivot tables and now now you can see that we have uh, chosen the data range for which we are going to create the pivot table and now it is asking asking us that you want the output on the same sheet or you want the i mean the new sheet or the existing sheet so i am by default it is new worksheet if you want to the existing sheet then you will choose the exi existing sheet worksheet and location for example i want l1 m1 n1 or whatever the location you want you just have to click ok but i don't want it uh, to be on the same sheet i just want it to uh, uh, it to be in the new sheet so i will choose ok and i will name the sheet as pivot table pivot table now this is the interface okay to build a report see we are getting the uh, that it's a message that to build a report choose field from the pivot table uh, field is okay so you will get a clarity that pivot is mostly used to create the reports now because we want the report basis on what we want the reports to be basis on the cell phones okay so we have how many uh, category so it will i will just take it to into the rows because which one we we, we are taking uh, because we are taking the cell phones as the reference that this how many quantities for the cell phones what will be the price okay so we will always put that into the rows it's not that we can't put into the column we can put into the column also it's up to you okay so if you are taking the cell phones or city or year always i mean they will be put into the rows or column okay so by default i am taking into the rows okay because uh, top to bottom the approach so the column is actu actually the left to right approach but mostly the data should be is like this okay top to bottom apple lg nokia for uh, samsung so these are the four products exist for uh, the available data set this data set we have four products nokia apple samsung and lg now what we want we want the quantity what how much quantity uh, the same for example uh, this is the quantity so i will drag and drop into the values okay now you can see that apple is showing 419 and let's compare this one i will just copy it okay I will go to the brand wise report and I will just con uh, just uh, right click and paste specialized value paste specialized value and just compare the output you have you can see that here apple is 419 and lg is 343 so the same out we are getting the same output we are getting so this is the output we got here 419 343 and now let's check out 419 will come or not so go to the pivot table and choose the amount or uh, the price and here so this is showing us the value and just control c and do the same thing here go to the brand wise report and just right click page specialized value so we have the amount now it is showing us that the amount is 11,000 okay because this is actually the price so now you need to understand that this is 419 because the price is fixed okay so if we are taking the sum so there is no no logic behind that okay now how to how to evaluate this how to get this i mean how to get 419 000 output 
okay for that what we need to do first there are two th uh, two things first of all because we even uh, for this we have to go to the pivot table and we don't need actually the price we actually need go to the value and choose maximum or minimum because uh, the okay let's take the maximum and okay now it is showing us thousand three fifty three hundred two fifty and same way if i will take minimum it will give me the same result so there is no because you need to understand on what basis it's uh, going to work okay now if i will copy paste it and here paste special and paste as value now same thing we are getting because this is 1000 and the because price is fixed okay i already explained that it's not a model wise data it's only just uh, you can presume that we are getting the data for if it is a duplicate then uh, just presume that we are getting it from different data sources now 1000 is fixed price for this okay so we are just we need to do that or even if even we are aware that 1000 is fixed price because there are only four products so we are aware that 1350 300 to 50 this is the price for this so we even don't need this okay so we can remove this and what we can do we can just manually uh, put this the price because because of uh, normally what happens uh, right now we are just putting the manually but in normally what happens when you uh, let me show you in the day 11 here the price will be fixed so what will happen a brand reports this will happen I mean you will it will be already there like a table Control C, Control V, and we have what we have this one: Apple, LG, Nokia, Samsung. Apple, LG, Nokia, Samsung. I will just Control C and Control V on to the day. So this is also a cell phone. So you, this will be available already okay if it's not you can create this okay how you can create this you will just you will just create the pivot table and I had already shown you you will just copy paste here or you can just apply the pivot table it will be already there if 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 the price is changing for a particular reason or whatever we if because it's a uh, then you can add here and you will have to just refresh this uh, right click and refresh so data will be updated so there is no issue but for example you know that it is already fixed uh, so you will just I mean it will be already there so you can just keep it there or you can fetch from the raw data also or it will be there already that these are the prices okay so let me take it as home and take as white right so this is the data available with us and just take the format and paste here right now you will uh, you just need to what what do you need to do for this case for uh, for example uh, because you are you have got the this this is your uh, i mean the pivot table you have applied and this is the output you are getting so now you have just pasted it and you are just getting the apple is this lg is this and ok is this and samsung is this and this is the grand total so grand total will be equal to sum so we need to take the sum and we are just creating the report actually and this is the uh, cell phones phones and just increase the width of the column and just make it bold right so we have uh, the output with us almost now this is the price fixed so what is the amount what is the amount what will be the amount for this what will be the amount for this 
okay so now you can see that uh, we have the price we have the quantity so we will just multiply it so equal to 419 and shift and press 8 button okay so you will get the multiplication sign and choose the price and enter control C control V and choose the formatting this one 419 go to the home and choose the formatting as I mean the format painter and apply here choose this and increase the column width now we can see that for the apple it is showing us 419000 means it is ok same way for lg it is showing us 120050 which is matching with this one which we just uh, this we calculated manually ok by filter and this part we calculated using pivot same way uh, what you need to do you need to uh, check for nokia okay and check for the same thing check for samsung and write down here the same way which is this apple lg then you have to find nokia here uh, output then samsung by fil filter method manual method or filter method and compare with this now we can see that pivot is so i mean because it is taking for example right now we have only four four right now we have only four products right but for example if you have 20 products and if you will go with this method the filter method it will take at least i will say one hour but if you will go with this method the pivot method this one it will hardly take one minute okay one to two minutes we will we can say it will take two minutes okay now same way uh, we have created this report here uh, we have the branch wise report and we have the cell phones apple and this is the amount and this is the price now we want the same thing but we want uh, the report let me uh, add the new sheet city wise city wise report and uh, we want the same thing the so uh, in this way uh, for the city i mean this quantity as per the data this is the total quantity so you can just take it as total quantity right and you can apply the border whatever you want to apply what uh, what kind of the formatting you want to apply you can do that all borders i want the color for the header is like this i want it to be like blue color okay now the report is ready the cell phone wise now we want the city wise report if we will go city wise okay it will take too much time so for that what we need to do we need to uh, create the pivot table and now we have to we don't need the cell phones we need what we need city so we'll drag and drop the city into the rows and report is ready we need the sum of quantity that's it now we can see that here we have the for example this is targeting you can say against the quantity so 20 is the target or or what i will do uh, i will show you that because uh, 18 is 36 and 18 because the data is duplicate so uh, if we will get 20 as a fixed target that is not a good thing because here 18 is so we need to increase the target hope you are getting my point because this is a dummy data try to understand so for that it should be unique then it's, it is 20 that is fine because this is 31 this is 36 so this is around 
60 above 60 and this is 20 target so it's not a sense to take target as 20 so for that sense we uh, what we can do just we can uh, increase the target or what we can do i will just leave this for now and uh, for the we will just consider the quantity so now this is the output we are getting we will just copy it and we will go to the city wise report and we will paste here control v and this is the city and next one is total amount total quantity now the question is because home and all water now the, the question for this uh, what is the total amount what is the total uh, amount uh, the price uh, each each city wise how we how we can how we will get that because it's not about that we will take like 300 or fixed because city wise it is not fixed it is the amount is based on what it is based on the product it is not based on the city wise okay because price is depend upon the product it's not depend upon the city the city is just kind of location so the price if we have to find the price the city wise how we can do that so that that's the problem here from the pivot even we can't get that right we have 300 and we have 36 we have 12 we have 1000 now what what we need to do uh, for this case because we need the data city wise hope you are getting my point what i am saying here if we need the amount like this we need this price and amount now we can't get the price because uh, price is not depend upon the city it depends upon it's it depends upon the product so we we, we can't get this okay we can't we can't get this because the price is actually the product dependence okay so we we, we will not get this from the existing data right do we get uh, can we get uh, there is a possibility can we get the amount the city wise by using pivot table no because this price is not this price is actually depend upon only this is kind of if this is fixed the price is fixed it's not dependent it's only depend i mean it's not if we will multiply quantity by price then we can uh, apply the pivot table okay but if we are, we can't take the price because it's not depend upon the city it depends upon the cell phone now to achieve that what we need to do for that what we will do we will create a new column and take it as uh, take give it the name as amount or uh, just q into p q into p okay and give it different kind of color so that we will able to evaluate that yes this is actually the calculated not existing in the data row data so equal to and take the quantity 36 multiply by 300 and enter control c go down and choose the range control v now take take the border go to the home take it as all border and give it some kind of color so that we will be able to uh, visualize that yes this is not existing column this is calculated column now what we need to do now we now we have solved all the problem almost even now we don't need to do this this part which we are we have done here 
I will show you this also, right? So, this one and this one and price is this and total quantity and this is the price. Okay. Now, I I have just created uh, I mean the amount that now this Q and P is now is is all dependent because this 300 is not depend upon city but it is depend upon Ch Chicago and Nokia also because this is actually the amount for Chicago and Nokia for this particular r data right hope you are getting my point because this is like what this is like 20 20 20 target the against this this is I mean this 20 is target for Nokia not Chicago so also it's not a good example it's like a quantity okay because 36 is for Chicago for this particular row and for uh, Houston this is 12 and for Apple also and for Nokia also now what we will do we will go to the pivot table and we will right click and we will refresh have we is there any change here no why because we have the data set chosen is a to g so we have introduced h so what we need to do we need to change the data source we will go to the data or uh, one second view 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 one second formula i need we need to change the data source developer view what's happening insert home why it's not coming there is a option for change data source why it's not showing where is the change design pivot tables analyze okay my apology pivot table uh, pivot table analyze and change data source choose uh, the change data source and now it's giving the us option to choose so we will choose a to h and okay now it is updated so why it is coming blank because we had chosen the all the data set so what we can see, uh, do we can remove the blank because we have chosen all okay but it is up to this only okay the the good way to choose it is like this okay but if we have chosen the complete data source the complete a to h then we can just remove uh, the blank from here okay because we don't need this now we have the sum of the quantity that is fine now we will this q into p we will drag and drop and it will do the same thing now we will just copy paste control c and city wise we will just control v here and we will go to the home and take it as all border and we will just control x control v and the data is the report is ready city wise report is ready isn't it easy and go to the brand go to home double click format painter city wise and choose and this now just okay one more thing uh, after after for example if you have uh, taken the uh, the formatting now if you will apply here the formatting will be apply here now to remove this C it is still uh, format pander is uh, already there okay so how to remove this we will just press escape button ESC button that's it it's done now if we will choose it will not apply okay so uh, now for the cell phones uh, do the same thing for the pivot uh, just remove the city and uh, uh, take the cell phones here to the rows okay and just copy and paste this 
and compare it control c are we, are we getting the same thing or not apple lg nokia samsung and so i will just control x and control v here i will delete this and just compare 4190012050 okay so this is the same data which is coming from which is coming from here which is coming from here okay so that is so this in this way we can uh, visualize the data we can create the reports by using pivot table so hope you have get the clarity now here you can see that there is a sum of quantity now if i will uh, click on this uh, symbol uh, drop down we can say kind of value field setting choose now we have kind of summarization value field by you want sum you want count if i will choose count i will get the count see so what is the meaning of count here means how many times apple exists inside the database this is our database and if i will filter the apple filter and okay i had already filtered apple so just check there i think apple is that yes so uh, just count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so the count is 11 here okay or even if you will choose okay or one more thing if you want to know by uh, using the formula is equal to c o u n t and choose the data set and one second again c o u n t and choose even you will choose this it will not count the blank cells okay so there is no issue counter c to counter one second it's okay it's a text so that's why it's not taking count a let's take it 11 that is fine and count it's not taking because I think it's a text so that's why it's not taking okay okay so we have 11 okay we have uh, the count is 11 for us I mean we can we so this is we can see that the count for apple is 11 so this is here uh, coming the 11 is that number count of quantity 6 lg exists 6 times so let's see that is it uh, exists 6 times or not equal to counter because this is the text lg this one so that's why we are taking it but if we will take the serial number then we can use the count we don't need to use the counter okay so isn't it easy uh, at in one go we don't need to filter out one by one otherwise if we we need the count also how many times apple exists lg exists nokia exists samsung exists inside the database what we need to do we in the manual method we need to first filter it out uh, the cell phone wise then copy paste like this in the branch then we need to take the count okay it's not that we can't do that we can do that that's fine okay but this is the fast way to create the report okay hope you have get the clarity see you soon in the next session thank you so much next session is reports in the previous session i explained about the pivot tables and we created some reports in the previous session also because pivot is known for to create the reports uh, for uh, today we will create the reports year wise in the previous session we create the reports branch wise and city wise so just create the new sheet and give it a name as year wise report year wise report okay so best way to create the report is to use pivot tables now we had created the pivot tables uh, for today i will create the new pivot tables so you will get okay so just create the new tables how to create the new table a new pivot table 
choose the data set for which you want to create the pivot table go to insert click on pivot table it will ask from table data range existing sheet or new worksheet i i can choose existing also or new sheet also i am choosing new sheet and here we can because we ha we want the data to be filter out i mean uh, we want the report year wise we will drag and drop the rows here into the rows and we want the quantity and we want the price the quantity into price see the report is ready now one more thing i mean uh, let's create this first then i will come to the next point control c or we can here uh, remove the blank and we can just okay and we can copy the complete control c we can go to the year wise report and we have to paste special here otherwise it will be pasted as a pivot table okay we but we want the value so we will take it as value and okay and double click choose all double click so it will be auto set here year wise year and we will make it border go to home all borders we will make it bold the grand total go to home make it bold go to the home make it bold the report is ready year wise report is ready now we want year wise but we want the filter also and we want the filter basis on what we can uh, make it basis okay this is the cell phone one so this is the pivot table which is year wise so we want it to be basis on the cell phones so we will uh, cap the uh, filter into the uh, the cell phones into the filter now see it it's and we can close this now we can see that we have cell phones for 2016 we have this report now we want we will choose select multiple item and we want for apple only apple so what what see for apple we have only 16 and 19 there is no data for another years isn't it cool same way uh, we want for lg only so we will choose lg it is showing us 2017 only so let's check it out is it true or not filter go to the data go to the filter and choose lg and if we will choose lg it should be 2017 now we can see that it is the data is coming only for 2017 so we will remove the filter for lg means and clear, clear the filter means we are right only 2017 the data for lg no no any other year same way let's take for Nokia remove LG how many year exist exist 17 and 18 so let's check it out is it true or not so filter for LG or no for, for what boom we are doing we are doing for Nokia so cell phone and Nokia and we can see that we have just choose year 17 and 18 and just take the sum this is 582 okay just go here this is 582 81300933000 is the total q into p so hope you are getting the point so in this way we can do the filtration and we can create a report same way we can uh, get for nokia lg or even if we, if, if we don't want cell phone anything else any other 
we can go with that now one more thing for example now because uh, we are just copying and pasting the data and we are just creating the report now for now uh, here year wise uh, the normal this is year wise that is fine but we want uh, the year wise but also the filter nokia year wise like this i mean for the nokia year wise what is the this this report we want and we want separate sheet how we can do that we will just double click the report is created for Nokia and we can give it a no name Nokia year wise now go to the pivot again filter out what filter out Apple ok double uh, Keep the cursor on the uh, on the pivot table anywhere. Double click. The Apple report is created. Give it a name. Apple Earwise. Apple Earwise. Okay, you can give any name of your choice. Same way, uh, here uh, the Apple is done. Choose LG. double click this is for LG separate because we need this actually sometimes LG not sometime I will say most of the time LG ear wise same way for which one is remaining we have this LG is done Samsung or Nokia is Samsung pending yes double click Samsung is created Samsung year wise so in this way you can create different kind of reports as per the requirements right now you you if you want to get it back see I am putting the cursor but I'm not getting the field list here so just right click and click on show field list it will come it will appear here I, I, okay this is for where is our paper table this one no no not this one. 13 yes okay now we don't want the cell phone we want something else we want the city right year wise so we can see that we are uh, getting the year wise data here and now we can do the same thing for Chicago year wise what was the sale like that hope you have get the clarity see you soon in the next session thank you so much reports to create show reason why is called to create the re to create the report we need to create the pivot table so choose the data for which we are going to create the pivot table go to insert choose pivot table and we want the new worksheet okay so we have to create what we have to create a reason why is called so for the reason we have to take the reason drag and drop into the row shelf and we have to take the count so let's take the serial number and drag and drop into the values this is showing us the sum but we don't need that we need what we need the count for reason wise so we will choose count ok so this is the count we don't need the blank so we will remove blank ok Control C, add new sheet, give it a name reports, reports and Control V, Control, uh, we need to paste as special, so right click, paste special as value, okay, set it 
and this is co this is reason and this is reason count of uh, reason wise count reason wise count and choose all go to the border choose all border choose grand total go to home take it as bold same way for the reason take it as bold if you want it to be color you can do that the header and the okay now the next question is reason wise count of male and females now we want we need to introduce male and female also so gender wise we have to drag and drop into the columns that's it now the data is split into gender wise control c go to the reports and yeah paste here as control v and give it a name as reason so this is actually the count hope you're getting the point now you can see that here i have just copy and pasted but here i have pasted as value y so go to the pivot table you see the actually the pivots uh, pivot starting point is from here count of s1 and column labels but we have just pasted from here if we want the paste from here then we can paste as control c and control v but if we will paste this control c now if i will paste it here it will and control v the complete pivot table will come so that's not a good thing so remove it and or to roll back i mean to come to the previous step we have to press control z it's gone now okay next is show reason wise count of male females including age group now we we, we need to introduce age group also so for that right click first and click on show field list or uh, let's first put first the question show reason wise count of male females including age group okay including age group so just drag and drop the age group into the rows see the data is coming according to age group now we will just copy this go to the reports paste here and one more thing here east is coming north is coming south is coming west is coming right that is fine uh, but we want it like uh, in the east like i mean separately don't want we can do that also and one more thing here the subtotal is showing if we don't want the subtotal how we can remove the subtotal just choose any cell for example east north south right click and see the subtotal is enable just click it and this is disable now and we can just copy paste it control c and control v here it's not that we can do it manually but it's the best way is to do it by using pivot so uh, take it as reason same way here take it as reason okay i think we have we need to paste okay let me paste again control c and control v i think i pasted as value control c control v okay reason now here you can see that is not is showing us like this if you want it like this that is fine but the best way to visualize the data is like this see east north south west right how we can do that for that we have to go to the go to the pivot table now here choose the design i mean put the cursor on the pivot and click on design click on report layout show in tabular form is the best form to show the data so show in tabular form now east north south west is separated now we want east here we want east here east here is north south like that let me just copy paste it in the reports 
now if we will type it like this east east it will take i mean it's time consuming right so how to do it by using pivot so we have taken it on the tableau form we will go to design again we will choose report layout and we will choose report all item labels now wherever be the blank cell the corresponding item will be show i mean come automatically see east is north north south now just copy this go to reports and paste it see now this is i mean we have got the data like this and this is the best way to express the data now we want the subtotal also how we can do that we will go here just choose uh, click on east west north south anywhere right click and click on subtotal region and we have the subtotal also now we will just copy paste it that's it now we have the subtotal also here paste it so it's up to you how uh, you want the data to be shown on that basis you can modify the pivot table and get the report hope you, you are getting the clarity right uh, let's move to the next question show count of employees now we need the count of employees so we don't need the reason we don't need the age group we don't need the gender we need only the count of employees so where is the employee id this okay so this is the count of employees control c and here now you have to paste it as control v uh, not control v paste special so right click and paste special as uh, value and format also okay it's, it's take, taking only one at a time okay and take it all control x control v arrange it arrange it this is count of employees how many times r001 exist inside the database that kind of implies this i mean that is the count here the showing take it as border take grand total as you can press control b also or you can from the home you can choose bold home bold okay next is count of employees month wise so we need to take it as month wise for the month wise we will go to the month drag and open the columns now we have jan feb the month wise hope you are getting the clarity control us and just okay we i uh, we don't need the blank so we can filter out blank from here from the month just filter out the blank i mean we don't need the blank so we will disable it right just control C put the reports and control V and arrange it double click and it is auto fixed see Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December wise count for uh, employees employees 12 times 8 times means for Feb, March uh, no output for august no output november december no output okay so that that is what it's showing to us okay the next one is show reason why sale okay here the reason why is no no if you want okay this is uh, i am just uh, expanding the question of count of employees month wise now i am just uh, expanding it as including east uh, west north south so how we can do that so 
we will just take the east west north south the region drag and drop into the rows now you can see that it is expanded uh, reason wise i mean for which reason how much count right because we have the grand total that is fine and this is actually the tab table form see this is in the tabular form actually that's why it is coming r02 if it's not in a tabular form in the compact form then it will show us like this okay when you will create it first time it you will get this uh, the data is like this now you want the east north south west separate r00 because that is the best way to show the data you have to go to the design go to the report layout and choose show in tableau form and then repeat all items labels then you will get the output like this now we will you will just copy paste it and that's done see isn't it the best way to create the reports if you will create it manually it will take too much time control c and the uh, there will be concern of accuracy also now we have introduced one more uh the uh, reason okay now uh, r01 reason wise is this r02 reason wise is this and if we don't want the subtotal how we can do that uh, remove that we can do it manually but uh, even uh, we can take the filter out and but we can do it manually but that is not the best way the best way is to go here and remove uh, the oh, one second uh, right click and remove the subtotal now subtotal is gone and we have the data with us so choose the data control c and control v now we are we have the data with us you if you want to uh, format it accordingly you can do that okay if you want it to be all border you can do that also you have to choose it and after selecting the data go to the home and all border okay so let me uh, just control c and control v and here we have to control c and edit it month wise including including region right this is we done okay the next is a reason why sale so we need reason why sale and one more thing here if you want to design the pivot table also then you can go to the design and see the changing the color is changing you can choose of your choice for example you want it like this like this so it's up to you you can um, i mean you see the this is the way it's up to you how you want you can design in that way you want that report to be like this see the design so for example I, I want the report to be like this so i will just choose this and i will control c i so we don't need to uh, apply the formatting by your our own we can choose the design in the pivot table so this is also the best way okay normally if you will apply the formatting it will take time that is fine but now it it's it's uh, it's expressive see the reports is expressive if you have not like the design you can go here and you can go to the design and you can choose any other design you can choose this you can choose this you can choose this one you can choose this one this one so it's up to you which 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 designs you are going to choose so if you like this you can control c and you can replace here uh, in the reports here or right now i am not replacing i am just pasting it here control v now we have like this or, or, uh, right according to me this one is good one this one okay uh, next is uh, let's take uh, the let's take the design the normal design i'm going to take let's choose the design of 
a normal this one or let's take I will clear the design. I will choose this one is I think is good. Or this one. let's take this or take this one okay let's move to the next question we have the question is uh, reason a uh, show reason why sale so remove everything we can remove like this okay uh, reason wise sale so con uh, choose the reason and choose the sale and we have the sum of the values we have the output control C go to the report paste here I will paste here this is reason wise sale okay it's uh, uh, control Z right click paste special as value value okay right we can border it home all border right okay next is uh, other formatting you can do that if you want it to be bold you can do that right now one more thing I want the count also with the sale I want the count how we can do that we will take the serial number here it is coming sum, but we don't need the sum we need the count we will right uh, click on this symbol and I mean the drop down we can say and take it as count now we have the count also so we will just copy and paste okay it's not that we can find the count separately it's uh, as per the requirement we uh, but if we want uh, the count also everything then we can do that also the count also the the sale also and pay special and value okay arrange it see 188 187 187 188 750 and this is the sale and you can make it bold or whatever be of your choice right now next is let's uh, this is east okay now one more thing let let me I want it to be the month wise also so I will drag and drop the month into column so we have month wise also control C control V control C go to the reports and paste here one second paste in the last okay you can create separate sheet I am just I am just creating it on the same sheet control V so we are done reason Jan Feb March April May June July August September October November December Jan Feb March okay there is now you need to understand what is this actually the first part is for the sale okay now you need to do f formatting here so this one is actually the count so you need to separate it basis on the count 
this is the December right so what we can do we can control Z it and we will remove because we we, we need to re I mean it's not a good way to so I will remove the count we can uh, show the count separately right so that is the best way now we will we are getting this uh, sale I mean this is the sale control C and control V Uh, one second choose this select the data and control C and let me create uh, one more report to report to and paste here right so this is the data for sum of the sale so sale sale total and the next one is let's copy paste here and copy reason why sale including months right okay so this is uh, basis on what this is basis on this is actually the sale but we we want the count we can take it as count even the say for the sale we can take the count and we will just copy and paste it go here control C go here control V and if you want okay we, if we want it to be design something different we can do that let's take the design is like this one or this one control C go to the report so it will differentiate it by color so this is grand total for what this is count total right 188 187 187 188 see so the same thing the reason now uh, let me uh, explore it more we want it month wise reason wise and we want it we have let's see the data we have location also we have employee also we have age group also so we want the age group so we will drag and drop the age group into the rows and we have the output we want the subtotal yes we want the subtotal now this is actually the count this is actually the count control C and paste here this is actually the count count total so now we have we are going to details uh, into the database into the data we are just count of total control C and control V right now the next is uh, let's take it as sum of sale value field sum of the sale and change the design to blue so the blue is this this one control C and so we will go to the report and take it as control V so this is actually the sale sale total so in this way uh, as per the requirement we can create the reports with just few clicks right we have the grand we have the subtotal also if we don't want the subtotal we will just right click remove the subtotal now the subtotal is removed we will just copy paste it so this is the data without subtotal in this way we can create reports report 2 here control V hope you are getting the clarity now let's move to the next question we have show employee by sale so employee by sale we need 
we will remove everything this one this one this one cell we need that is fine and employee id we will take okay so this is the employee by cell uh, remove the blank we don't need the blank so we will remove the blank from here and now we will just copy paste control as value paste as value because it's the complete one so here right click paste special as value so we have the output you can format it by your own way i'm not formatting it okay now okay let's do it uh, choose it and go to home all border and control v i want all all bold that's fine okay next next is uh improvise including male female very uh, easy including male female we have to kept the male uh, the gender into the column section so column section now it is separated control c go to the report and control v here and we are done hope you are getting the clarity how we can create reports in the pivot and let's let's uh okay one more thing i need to explain you uh, for example uh, let's take the month wise and i am just uh, i'm the, this is the pivot and here we will i re will remove the gender i will take the month now why this one we have done already now this month is actually jan is for all it's not for uh, because we have uh, here let's filter it out and we can see uh, in the filter we have only 21 is the year but what uh, what happen if uh, it uh, includes 22 23 24 25 years also then when we will take jan it will come for all years right so in that case if you want uh, the year wise uh, uh, data i mean if, if you want month wise doesn't matter it is uh, of 2021 year to 2022 year in because jan it will show us uh, for all for or for all years not for the separate uh, separate year now for that what you need to do for example let me just uh, for you here just let me take 22 okay 22 and here 22 now what we will do we will uh, here we will take the filter filter for year, year uh, which is filter for date okay not that's not going to happen because it's filter for date okay i i will explain you this is in further session okay i will control z control z okay hope you have get the clarity how to create the reports uh, and these these are the questions we have solved so in the in that way you will get the questions or the requirements from the uh, particular department you and you have to just create the reports see you soon in the next session thank you so much hello today's session is reports we have the data set see now let's create the just normal pivot table and this is related to mostly the dates the reports uh, we will prepare basis on the date now create the pivot table on new sheet and for example we want the data to be wise employee wise or reason wise okay let's take reason wise and month and sale now we want it to be year wise how we can do that right so for that what we need to do first of all just copy paste create a new sheet give it a name as data because we need to modify uh, our data set right 
so I will show you how we can achieve that so first of all just copy paste the data we have with us and after copy paste see this is the data just control C go to the data sheet and paste here as control V and move the data here and this is actually this pivot table is related to day 14 so we will keep it here we have to create the pivot table uh, basis on data now you need to understand one thing that here you can see that uh, we need the data to be based on year now how the month will come for example month is, does not exist here or we can delete it just choose all right click and delete now we want here day we want here month and we want here year how we can do that so for the day we will just type day and we will choose the date we will get the day for the month we will just type month and we will choose the date we will get the month same way for the year we will type year is equal to year and we have the year we will copy this and we will choose all and control V now just give it some different color so we will be able to differentiate that this is actually the derived one not with the database and one more thing uh, for example because I have copy paste here now how you can copy I mean uh, we have copy paste here by using the mouse but if you want the keyboard how you can do that so you just have to press shift button okay shift button and you have to press right arrow button then down and if you want to go down then just you have to press control button also and you will be down so in this way you can choose all so shift right button and down one by one and if you want at a one go you want to go down then you have to press control with the shift and then down all data will be selected now you will go to the home and choose border and give it some this kind of color so we will be able to differentiate that I mean this one is a dried one now we have the month we have the year now we can uh, when we will apply the paper table we can differentiate the data using year also so let me show you how choose all the data set and go to the insert pivot table new sheet give it a name pivot data from the data we are getting now we want it to be age uh, reason so take the reason and take the month and take the sale right take the sale okay now we have the data with us 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 for 12 months but it is for all years how we can differentiate the years for that we will choose year and keep year into the filter section now from here we can choose the different year we have one two three four years now I want the data for 2019 I will choose ok see it is filtered out right now what we will do we will just copy this data control C and this is 2019 we will create a new sheet and give it a name 2019 okay and control V here so this is actually the reason and this is we can uh, type is 2019 total right 
because this is 2019 data same way we want 2020 data we will remove 19 choose 2020 now we have the filter for 2020 we will just copy here and go to the 2019 or I will paste here and I will copy the reason I will paste here and I will copy the total paste here and I will modify it as 2020 total and here I will uh, write all years okay 2019 2020 and we have same way 2021 okay so in this way you can create the reports for different different years if we have multiple years with us and you need the reports like this for the 19 separately 20 separately for the 21 you need the report separately so you can do that now for 2022 we will filter out 2022 and press ok and we have 1 2 3 4 5 for September and because September uh, is this is actually uh, because uh, upcoming is 10th 11 12 so this is not complete so that's why it's showing us only the September up to September and this is 2022 and whenever we you create the report so always it will be asked like this 19 20 21 even 22 if for example the running so this is up to till date in this way the reports will be published so you can uh, create the reports this is actually the reason why is now uh, if you want it to be like uh, not reason wise we want it to be like basis on employee employee id wise so we can see the employee wise this is the sale for 2022 we will copy it and we will paste it right so this is employee wise this is 2022 and this is 2019 or we can say all years separately okay so in this way uh, you can create the reports from the pivot table for multiple years also this is 12 months so whenever you publish the report okay for a particular uh, reason or the employee wise you will publish like this the same way here okay in this way you will publish the real real time okay this is kind of real time in the real time uh, this way the reports are getting published right so in this way you will create the report and you will share to the respective departments here uh, i mean there is no name but you have to put the name also okay because in the data there is no name now you have to uh, get the details from the head counts okay or the from the HR or from the respective team manager and uh, you will just uh, from the employee I mean from that head count you will just uh, uh, get the names or any other information like that so hope you are getting the proper understanding how we can use the pivot tables see you soon in the next session thank you so much hello today's session is create reports show location wise employee count and second report is show location wise sale including month okay and let's edit it including month for last two years okay let's start first of all create choose the data set to go to insert and choose pivot table and click ok now we have to choose location wise take the location into the rows 
and the month we need to take so we have the month and take into the column Ac actually this is second one first one is location wise employee account so we need to take employee employee id into column shell okay and we have to take any let's take the serial number and click on the drop down click on value field setting choose count because we need the count not the sum so this is what we were looking for filter out blank we don't need the blank copy control C and create a new sheet give it a reason wise employee count and control V here this is the location location wise not reason wise location wise location wise right so first one is done second one is location wise sale including month for last two years so for the employee ID we will remove the employee ID and we will put month where is month this is month drag and drop into the column shell we don't need the count we need the sum so we will remove this and sum for what for sale so we will take the sale drag and drop into the value and check sale including month for last two years F so here we need to take the filter and we have to find how many years we have so in the filter we have to check we have 19 20 21 22 last two years will be 20 uh, 21 and 22 so this is 21 plus 22 okay and just copy paste this is 21 22 last two years last two years sale month wise okay so this is the report we are creating and this is the location and grand total is for what the last two years and what are the last two years this is 2021 and plus 2022 total we now we have to separate it 21 separately and 22 separately let's go to the home first of all just align it into the right okay and go to the pivot give it as a pivot table okay and here we have multiple so we will take 21 first and let's design something i mean give a design to it so i'm designing it as let's choose the design this one or this one is good control c and control v in the last two month so this is location and this is actually 2021 total go to home and arrange it into the right alignment this see this is the alignment right alignment same way go to the pivot table choose 2022 remove 2021 and choose 2022 and control C this is showing only nine months because why it is showing nine months because this is September month so 22 will show us only so we will take it as 2022 total or you can just control X control V and you can here you can just copy 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 paste 10 11 12 so you can write here upcoming month upcoming a future okay 
it's not zero actually this is future so you will just copy paste it because this is future month control C control V and delete it right so in this way you can create the report let me introduce something else for example we are getting the report for two years for location wise and okay 2022 oh right okay just take the sale for year only so i will remove month and i will remove location also and i will take year drag and drop the year here and for the filter first of all take the filter because we need to remove the filter first otherwise it will show us only for the filter which we have chosen now we can drag and drop into the rows we have the sale and we can remove the blank we don't need the blank we will remove this uncheck this now we have year wise sale year wise sale to be oh one second ne we need to paste here as uh, paste special and value or we can say all but all it is giving us the pivot table also so we will take it as value only uh, right uh, press uh, uh, mouse right click then value and we have the output we have year we have total okay instead of sale okay let's take something else okay okay that is fine sales okay control b choose all border and take it as choose all to the right alignment and take total as control b so this is 19 is this 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 hello today's session is formula and function okay so we have the max and what max do just uh, press equal sign and max it and press shift and 9 max gives us the maximum value uh, uh, from the range which we are selecting so i'm choosing this range shift press 0 enter so 132 is the highest number here so this is the 132 if i will make it as 4 5 3 it will give us 4 5 3 because 453 is the highest number if I will make it 123 it will give us 123 because 123 is the highest number next one is uh, mean so mean will give us the minimum number equal sign M I N shift press 9 choose a range and press shift 0 or you can just uh, simply press enter also next so 5 is the lowest number so it's giving us 5 count so count always count the number not text so count shift 9 choose a range and it will give us it's giving 13 why because this cell is empty this cell is empty this cell is empty so three cells are empty empty okay one two three so total a uh, serial number from we can see that 16 so 16 minus 3 is 13 so that's why it is giving us 13 okay if i will put a numbers one two here or uh, five four here so it is giving us uh, minimum is four and count is 14 because the number is increasing so it's not empty anymore so let's me take it as empty so 13 now count blank counts what 
count black counts the blank so it will give us three answer for this there is the range which we, we are going to choose so count c o u n t b l a n k shift 9 choose the range and you can directly press enter it will give us the result or you can press shift and 0 so the close parenthesis and enter i mean that is a step by step process okay counter counter what is the difference between counter and count count gives only the number uh, only the number if we apply the count on the text it will not give anything but counter counts the text as well and number as well so enter and it is giving us 29 if i will remove any text it is giving 28 because text is removed so one is less same way if we will remove the number it will give us 28 so i will press ctrl z to roll back to uh, go to the previous step and now it is coming ok 29 so let me press uh, count let me show you count for the text it will give us see nothing almost ok or let me take it as count for this count and this one so it is not giving us the correct result okay okay let because it's in the date format i think okay let's uh, take here count and this is the range i'm choosing random so zero okay because it is a text so it it does not count text the count now the next is today today is gives us the current day uh, date so right now what is the date is 5 September 2022 and whenever we you will receive the file maybe the date will be different because it always give us the current date coming to the point sum sum is give us the sum so I am going to take the sum of this number the range 352 is showing and average and choose the range and enter so we have 27.07 .07 is the average so now VLOOKUP so you need to understand what is VLOOKUP do first so VLOOKUP is actually to get a particular value from the table array right to get the particular value or data from a table array now we can see that uh, we have the data set this one this is second data set our this is first data set this is second data set now we want the price if you don't know the VLOOKUP, how will you do? You will copy the Nokia, press paste. Copy the Apple, paste. First of all, you will complete Nokia. So you, you will find Nokia, Nokia. Then you will find Nokia. Then you will find Nokia and control V, Nokia, control V, Nokia, control V. Okay. Then you will find Apple and control V like this. So this is very hectic task if if the if right now uh, the rows it's only 30 data is th 30 rows but if the data is large 500 thousand 2000 5000 how will you do that if you if you have to do the th same thing for 2000 rows it will take uh, one day which is not a good thing so to avoid this what we will use we'll, we will use we look up so equal sign v lookup v l double o k u p shift 9 lookup value lookup value is kind of the reference value the value which we are going to find or i will say the reference value will be the correct word for this so the nokia i am going to find or this is the reference value and this is the table array so from this table array we have to find the nokia okay press f4 Be always and uh, always uh, fix the table array by pressing f4 always fix the table array by pressing f4 now press comma we we want the price right so price is here so the starting point is one after one what comes two so we have to press two then we ha we have to take the exact match which is zero so you can take false or you can press zero 
it's up to you you can choose false or if you will press zero directly it it's, it's same meaning press sh shift zero button and enter you are done control c choose the ra choose the range and control v now we have the vlookup in this way we can apply the vlookup and let me give it some kind of different color so that uh, i mean it's a derived one it's not in the data set okay so now we will just copy this and i will just uh, create a new sheet and i will give it the name as vlookup on what vlookup price on price so we will just control V here. Now you can see what is happening. Why price is giving us hash array. And one more thing. Uh, for the uh, let me go to the sheet here. Okay, I have to mention one thing. For example, the data is coming here. That is fine. But if I will remove LG, what will happen? See the difference. LG. When I am removing LG, it giving us hash array. Why? I am removing Samsung. It is giving hash and a for Samsung, Apple, hash and a for Apple. Why? Because it means the data which we are finding, we, we want to find what Apple. So Apple does not exist in the table array. So obviously it will give us hash and a. Same way Nokia, I will remove this. We will get hash and a. Right? So let me roll back. Control by pressing Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. So we are just coming to the previous step. Same thing is happening here. When I when I have copy paste the data here, it is giving hash array because it is uh, B two that is fine, but the table array is not exist because it is saying R one S five. So R one is this, and S five is this. So there is nothing here. So def then. Obviously, it will give us hash and a. Now, whenever you will share the file, uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, okay, one more thing. If you share the file or you send the file to the employees or the departments, if uh, the uh, the VLOOKUP is from the same file or same sheet, uh, the same file, then it's okay. But if the VLOOKUP is uh, from different sheet and if you have not take it as a value, what will happen? It will give us, I mean, whenever the another user will open the file, they will get hash and a because the reference is not exist in the user file, the employee file to whom you are sending the files. So when if you are sending the this file to 10 persons, and this VLOOKUP is not coming from this sheet. This VLOOKUP is coming from another sheet which is inside your system. So it will show you the result. But whenever you will send this file to the another person, they will get hash and a because that file does not exist on the system. So there is no reference. So then definitely it will give us hash and a. To avoid this, what you will do? You will always I take it as value so control c go to the vlookup price and uh, right click from the mouse and take it as paste special one second it's not giving let me copy again control c we look up price sheet right click from the mouse paste special and paste as value now we are getting the result so hope you are getting the point for from uh, the okay uh, how to uh, do the vlookup from the another sheet i will show you in the upcoming session and one more thing uh, okay let's do one thing i am taking the city chicago houston new york georgia and paste here uh, practically it's it's not uh, i mean practically it's, it never i mean the example i'm giving actually uh, practically it's not exist exist meaning uh, as per the example nokia is only dealing with chicago apple is only dealing with houston 
Samsung dealing with New York City and LG dealing with Georgia. So you need to presume it, but practically, is there is no barrier for Nokia to uh, you know uh, the city is 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 they can. I mean the product is everywhere in the world. So I am just uh, as per the example, you have to just presume that Nokia only deals with Chicago city, Apple deals with Houston, Samsung deals with New York, and LG deals with Georgia. Right? As per the data set, just presume it. Now uh, get the city here. This is on what the product. So I will type V lookup, V L W O K U P, or you can just directly press Tab key. And the lookup value is Nokia. Comma lookup array is this. Press F four. Comma now, what we want? We want city, and what is the number of city? So we we have to count. The product is at first place. See the complete. Then price is number second, and city is number third. So we will type three. Then we will type comma, and the next is exact match. So we have to press zero for the exact match, and we can directly press enter. Control C, choose the range. And Control V, see lookup is applied. So I will just change. I will do formatting, and I will just Control C. I will go here V lookup price, and I will if I will paste here Control V, it will give us hash n. So what is the best way? We will just go here Control C, and we will choose. The G one where we want to paste, paste special as value, and we have the output like this. So hope you are get, uh, you have got the point how to apply the VLOOKUP, how to to how to apply the functions or formula. So let's wrap it up. Max max means highest number in the data set. So we have chosen the data set or the range. This is the range. So it is giving us one twenty three is the highest number. Minimum five for this data set. The data range we can say count is thirteen. Count means the number value. Count blank. How many blanks inside the data range we are choosing? Count a including text also. Number plus text. Today it will give us the current date. Sum it will do the sum. Average will do the average, and we look up. We'll do the we look up. So let me just control X, control V, and okay. Let me take city, control C, control V, and for the price, control C and control V, and to make. it more understandable i will take it as blue so you will get aware that it is actually coming from this data set i mean it have we look up we have applied on this data set and this is orange so we have applied on orange one so that's it's just kind of differentiate i am just differentiating that this deals with this and this is dealing with this for this particular example so hope you have uh, got the proper understanding for the formula and the function i have mentioned and see you in the next session thank you so much hello so this is our data set and here we have to get the price and the data is actually in the another sheet so let me show you here you can see that uh, we have two files one is this uh, the data files the main data here and let me take it the price as a different color okay so uh, we want the we look up from this file to here so let's apply is equal to we look up tab and we have to get the look of value 
and the cell phones so nokia nokia is the lookup value comma choose the table array so this is our table comma we want price price the number uh, for the price is 2 because starting point is 1 and after 1 we have 2 we have to count 1 2 3 4 like this so price is coming at number 2 we will type 2 then we will type comma then we will type 0 then we will press shift 0 to close the parenthesis enter and we have got the output just control C go down and control V and we have apply the VLOOKUP now just format home format painter and apply here and control C and control V now we have the output so this is we have got from the file right so in this way we can apply the VLOOKUP from uh, the another file if it's not in your file you can apply it from the another file hope you are getting the point home and let me make it as the color so I want it to be like this so we will be aware that yes this is derived one now if you want to send the file you just have to copy and paste it as value and you can set the file so in this way you can enter the v, uh, I mean you can apply the VLOOKUP uh, one more thing let's, let's take something uh, for example we have uh, uh, the IDs okay okay one more thing now uh, for example I want uh, some IDs some data from this data set how we can do that so let's take some IDs I am control C and control V okay let's take random IDs okay now against these IDs what I want I want uh, date city so I will just copy date or I will just type here date and next one I want city and I want quantity also so how we can achieve that so just quantity so please have a look first of all is equal to VLOOKUP the lookup value is uh, right now is ID so I will press comma now I will choose the table array so this is the table uh, array for this scenario and it is already fixed and uh, when you are uh, you take the lookup from the another file right uh, I mean if it, the data is not in your uh, existing file then so the ta table array is already fixed when we uh, get the data from the another file so comma now we want the date so what is the number for date id is 1 date is 2 so we will type 2 we will type comma we will type 0 we will press shift parenthesis close enter we have the output now uh, this is actually why it is coming like this so this is actually the text format so we have to go to the home and we have to take it as the second year where is the data okay this is the data here general so we have to take it as kind of the date format one second home and this one so we need right so go to the home uh, choose this and go to home and this is our date format so I will just copy and paste now uh, I will uh, same I will do for city is equal to V lookup and lookup values ID so comma lookup array is this right comma cities uh, the number for cities 1 2 3 4 
so we will type 4 comma 0 shift 0 enter and we have the cities for these particular IDs hope you are getting the point same way for the quantity I will type VLOOKUP lookup values ID comma this is our array and quantity is 1 2 3 4 5 so number 5 so we will press comma 5 comma 0 shift 0 enter and we have the output so in this way we can get the output for example i will remove the ids from there we will not get we will not so it will give us error because there is nothing here so that's why it's giving us error so same way uh, because we have applied the formula now if i want a particular data set so let me take let me copy it and paste it as value because we need what we need id we need date so let's let's compare that is this the output we are getting so this one here control v and next one is city and Yes, city and quantity control C and control V okay now I will just control C and control V now see this is 20 December this is 20 December 21 19 March 19 March 28 Feb 28 Feb 25th June and 7 December Houston, New York, Georgia, Chicago, Houston, New York, Georgia, Chicago, Houston, 17, 19, 9, 2, 4, 9. So, means the data is coming correctly. So, in this way, we can apply the uh, VLOOKUP. Now, uh, one more thing, because, for example, if we have lot of data set and we have to uh, apply the VLOOKUP for multiple uh, columns, then we don't need to apply it again and again. So, let me show you what I am saying. So I will delete this because I have applied it one by one. First of all, I applied it on date, then I applied it on city, then I applied it on quantity. Okay, right now, first of all, make uh, okay the date we have. So I will press is equal to V lookup, and I will press I will take the lookup value, and now for this we have to uh, make D as shift and press dollar in front of d we have to make a dollar why i am taking the dollar i will show you within couple of minutes so comma same thing the table array and comma uh, for the date it is number two comma zero so i will just control c and control v okay now we i don't need to apply the we look up again here i will just copy this one so i will just copy this and i will choose the city and quantity and for here we have to apply the formula not the formatting because city is the text quantity is the text if we will copy it then uh, the formula is also will also copy it but the formatting will also copy it which we don't want we want only the formula so we will right click and click on paste special and here we will click on formula and ok so the formula is pasted but it is pasting it like it is making it kind of uh, ok actually this is a date so 2 is here so we need to do the changes here ok that is fine now why uh, first of all uh, ok I will explain you why we have taken D as dollar but first of all let's change 2 to uh, as per the city so this is one two three four so city is number four so we will type here four four and here we will type what this is quantity this is number five so we will type five and we will just control c now here we can control uh, i mean copy paste because this is not date i mean this is the same as uh, uh, I mean the column is same so it's we can copy here as it is now hope you are getting the clarity how it is coming right 
4 because the same thing so we we don't need to apply the lookup again and again we will just apply one time and we will copy paste just you need to do one thing you have to when you will apply here you need to change this I mean the number the column of uh, th this is actually the column number so for which column we are uh, finding the output we wa we are finding the output for city column so city column is exist at what place so one is id two is date three is cell phones and four uh, four is city so for the city we are taking number four okay coming to the point why we have taken d as uh, the dollar dollar what do dollar is actually to fix the column if i will not take d as a dollar and i will copy and paste here so in the f you can see it is still d but if we will not take it as dollar and okay let me take it is city for example city is d2 and if i will copy city here to here it will still remain d2 but if i will not fix it and now i will copy the city to quantity then it will change to to e2 which is not correct thing see he's here it's changing this one okay here you can see that it is changing to e2 and here it is d2 so because here it is d2 because here it is d2 so the lookup value is uh, in the d column right d2 so it's giving us correct result but here when we have copy and paste the formula here it is giving us e2 which is wrong result it is not what we are looking for we are our lookup value is not houston uh, not uh, date our lookup value is id on the id basis we will fetch the data from this particular data set right so for that what we need to do here we need to fix it and we can fix it by pressing shift and number four four uh, uh, the four digit so because above four there is a dollar sign so dollar will be come and enter now i will copy and paste here and we, I, I am getting the host name because this is number four here but the quantity exists at number five so we will just change the number here and we will just copy it and we will just paste it now we are getting correct Houston, New York and let me remove the coloring so go to the home and go to the color and choose no fill so in this way we can apply the VLOOKUP we can get the any data set from the I mean any uh, because for example we have lot of I mean it's, it's uh, what happens we need uh, the details for some employees okay uh, f uh, we need the details we have s some IDs okay uh, and we want the data for that particular IDs the reason the, the there is any reason okay we have a couple IDs and we want to see is these ID exist in the data set or not okay it happens so for example 7034 is it exist here no 345 this now we are aware that these IDs is not exist in the data set okay so that is uh, I mean uh, so these are not valid IDs okay uh, or uh, what happens for example uh, if you have a report or of the headcount report so that means these employees for example they have got the IDs but uh, the data is not updated in the headcount report of the HR so you will not update the data you will not uh, proceed with the IDs until it will updated in the headcount I mean uh, I am just giving you the example the scenario can be anything or it can be anything that okay if we have couple of IDs uh, could you show me uh, that these ID exist in the report or not so I will uh, uh, show them okay send them yes these two IDs does not exist in our records then they will update the IDs and next 
the, the reports will be updated actually there is a system uh, CRM or kind of system so where the, uh, the data will be updated when we fetch the data from the uh, from the system the company system uh, CRM we can say ERP whatever be so that will be updated here so uh, every company has their own ERP system or uh, the database to handle the database so I will not comment on that but I am just telling you that in uh, in this way you have to work on the lookup so this is the very most important lookup plays very important role hope you have get the clarity about the lookup see you soon in the next session thank you so much session is end of month length concatenate if count if sum if dated if we have this data set available and our function is end of month e o m o n t h shift press 9 choose the cell for which we are going to create the end of month comma we have to choose the month so what is the meaning of month here uh, right now we can see that the cell i mean the date is 15 feb 2021 so it means if i will choose zero month means i am asking i am focusing on current month if i will choose one means the next month if i will choose two the other next month if i will choose three the other next one so if i will choose zero means i am talking about current current month and it will give us our 28 fab as the output so let me just go to home and format it okay we can format this or what we can do we can go here and we can choose date right okay okay let let's choose again home go to here and choose short date and now check this out 28 Feb 2021 and now if I will choose here the one means I am talking about the next month of the current month so 31st March is the output I, if I will choose two it will give us April if I will choose three it will gi give us May end of May so hope you have got the understanding of end of month next one is length length gives us the uh, length of a particular string or the number inside the cell is equal to len length and this is the id enter so it has four number one two three four so it is giving us four if I will choose as length for host on so it will give us one two three four five six seven as the output so let's check it out it is giving us seven output right okay next one is concatenate so what concatenate do it just combine combine the uh, number of the text for example I'm choosing Samsung comma and I'm choosing New York so it will combine now we we can see that it is giving us Samsung and New York as the output if I will choose as J5 and K5 it will give us LG Georgia as the output now you can see that there is no space between the a text which we have joined so how we can put the space we will just double click here and after j5 we will put the comma and between the commas I will put inverted commas and between the inverted commas we can put the space or any character for example I am putting at the rate so it will give us at the rate if even I have uh, put the space here now there is no space j there is only at the rate if we want the space also then I will put the space at the rate space so it will give us LG 
space at the rate space Georgia and if you want only one space then we can do that also so we can just okay one space and we have LG Georgia as the output now what if do if means uh, for example uh, you need to understand for if if has a possibility true and false if the I mean it is question actually it is uh, we can say that uh, the condition okay condition so if the condition is true okay if, if it is true then we have the output one and if it is false then we have output two so in this way the if function works so let me take home go to the home and color it as this one and for the true let's take it as kind of green one okay so uh, the logic is that if the condition if the condition which we are going to focus if that condition true then we will get the output and if that condition fails then we will going to get the output right so let me show you how we we can uh, apply the if function so first of all press equal sign if shift 9 and now logical test the logical test is actually the condition so condition is that if for example if uh, let's take here okay let's take from here or if let me take f here if this is equal to Nokia if this is equal to Nokia then it will give us one otherwise if it is not Nokia then it will give us zero now it will it is giving us zero because it's not Nokia and let me just apply here coloring so that you will get aware that this is actually formula we have applied here okay take it as border go to home and take it as border all border right now if I will put here Nokia which is our input so let's take the input as kind of yellow and if the input is Nokia then it will give us one so if the input is something else for example it is Apple it will give us zero if if it is uh, any other it is one then it will give us zero it is two it will give us zero so because condition is not satisfying if the condition is satisfying then we will get output one because we are saying that if the condition is Nokia then output as one I otherwise zero this is uh, the output we are giving here so go to home give it as green and here give it as kind of this right now this is if function uh, we can change the condition also for example if it is uh, not okay it is a it is apple or it is red then one so if the input is red then one otherwise zero right so this is the if function so as per the condition we, we can use the if function okay so hope you have got the clarity and one more thing let me uh, 
tell you about nested if so nested if when we have more than one condition we have more than one condition so uh, right now there the condition is only one that is red now the next is if the condition is uh, increasing then it will be same but it will first check the first condition for example if I am saying that this one is equal to red then give us a result as one okay this is the first condition okay if this condition the condition is c5 if it is red then it will give us one the second condition if it is what this c5 is equal to not red if it is nokia then it will give us two okay even we can put the number one for also also there is no issue because output this is output so i am just giving the se separate number so you will get clarity that when we are putting the nokia yes it is giving us number two when we are putting red it is giving us number one so more than one condition more than one condition all right so this is uh, uh, i mean nested means it's not that uh, we can put only two condition more than one condition we can put another condition so uh, the, the first condition is red the second condition is nokia okay let's take the output for this then i will show you for the third condition now if i uh, see if this is red uh, the c5 then one if c5 is nokia then the output will be two else output will be let me uh, take it as text zero and enter okay now you need to understand uh, when i am putting the it was giving me kind of error because i only close one bracket which is for this one now i have closed this because this uh, the first condition is red and the second is this condition complete okay but if this is the second condition we need to cl close this one also which is the first function so if i will uh, give it as i mean close the parenthesis by pressing shift 0 it will not give us an error even if i will press the enter uh, at that time it auto uh, complete the process now it is not giving us the error but if i will put uh, for example if i, I am writing the uh, the function and i am just entering see do you want to accept the correction so it is auto correcting because uh, the we have to close the parenthesis okay hope you have got the clarity but try to do uh, by yourself okay right so now you can see that why it is coming one because the input is red if it is red it is uh, if it is uh, red the c5 then it will give us what one if it is nokia then it will give us what uh, it will give us the two so it is giving us two if there is i mean any other thing for example lg it will give us zero if there is a uh, number any number it will give us zero right and if there is a red it will give us one now let's let's increase uh, the nested if so i will just uh, type here the new and i will just copy p okay one second i will just show you one uh, process by process so we you will get the better understanding if okay this c5 is equal to red this is our condition okay the condition if the condition is true if c5 is true then if it is true then we will have the output if it is false then we have the output now if it is true if c5 is red means if it is true then we we we, we need the output i am saying that the output will be one else means if it is not true then we have the false it will give us zero which is the normal condition the if right 
but we are uh, for the nested if now the next condition is if this is equal to c5 is equal to nokia if this is equal to nokia then it will give us two the next one is if c5 is equal to uh, lg it will give us the what three so so on uh, we can increase uh, and it so i mean we can increase this as much we want so now we will press uh, shift and zero button to close the parenthesis 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 close enter now for the red it is giving one for nokia it is giving two and for lg it is giving three and for anything else it is giving us zero so let me take it as text if you want the text we need to put the text in inverted commas zero for example one zero and red it will give us one so hope you have get the better understanding and one more thing it's not case sensitive for example here we have give the condition nokia which is small letter and here we have give the condition as lg which is capital letter if i will type here lg in the small letter it will still give us the output because it's not case sensitive same way here if i will put nokia in capital letter it will still give us two for the nokia if it is uh, condition is two it will give us two but here we can see that it is Nokia in small letter but still it is giving us two because it's not depend upon the size of the letters even it is capital letter even it is small letter doesn't matter for excel it consider all the same so that means if i am putting Nokia and if i am putting small letter Nokia it will give us it, it's, it will give us Nokia as the output result okay hope you have got the understanding for if and nested if now count if now you are uh, already aware about the count function which is count the number for example uh, let me take I mean uh, 60012 6010 so the output will be 10 right now for example here we can see uh, it is only counting the number okay but for example I need to count the text then we don't need use count we use counter so I will type C O U N T A and here C O U N T A and I will choose a range from okay Nokia to okay this range J2 J11 and shift 0 and 10 is the output that is fine so it is giving us the count that is fine but if I want the count for a particular uh, item inside the range for example I want the count for Nokia how many times Nokia exist how, how we can add so we can do that I mean normally what will you do you will just filter out so you will you will choose the data set and you will just go to home and go to the data and uh, choose filter and you will choose Nokia because we want to count Nokia how many times Nokia exist so we will filter out the Nokia and now we can see that Nokia exists how many times 113 right so C O U N T A and we will take the count and enter now we can see that uh, it is uh, Nokia is coming uh, let's give us as Nokia as the input go to home and we will take it as uh, the yellow color okay now we have uh, Nokia 113 time right now I will filter it out if I want uh, the apple how many times so is it showing us no why it is showing 113 because it is counting the filter which we filter out now what we will do we will filter uh, we will go to the data and we will choose filter and we will choose 
because we want the apple to be get filtered out so we will choose apple then we will filter out then we will choose apple then we will click ok now what will we do we will press equal sign c o u n t a shift 9 and we will choose the range choose the range uh, the apple and we will press enter now we are getting 113 for the apple also right so means uh, apple is also exist uh, 113 times right and one more thing let's count for the uh, the LG how many times LG exist let me okay so LG for uh, what we need to do so Apple is coming 113 I think for cell phones it is equally distributed so let's let's take the city so for the city I want the house turn how many times house turn exist so what we will do we will just choose the data set and we will go to data and we will choose filter and we want the filter on house turn and ok now just counter and choose the range enter we it's exist one zero six time okay same way for the new york or georgia how many times georgia exist so what we need to do we need to choose the data set we will go to data and we will choose the filter georgia now we need to counter shift and range we can choose the range uh, for georgia and now we can see that it exists for 102 times now for the chicago how many time it exists let's see so we can see that it exists of, uh, first of all choose the range c o u n t a and chicago exist the triple one times that's one second what happens here chicago okay k to do k114 to k114 okay so uh, I mean every time uh, we just f uh, clear the filter go here and choose all or you can say clear filter from city now the filters are clear okay now every time for a particular for example for Georgia we need to take the range every time and if the city is 100, 100 time exist how will you get to know you will uh, so for that what you need to do every time you will filter particular city then you will choose a range then take the count that's not going to I mean that will work but that's not the way to work right now so here every time uh, you need to filter out uh, that um, I mean the particular item you need to take the filter then you will take the count so that's that's not the way to work so for that to make it dynamic to without I mean if I will put here Georgia it will give us count for Georgia if I will put here Chicago it will give us the count for Chicago now if I am putting Chicago here see is it changing no I am putting Georgia is it changing no it's not changing we are not getting the output why why we are not getting the output because counter only counts the range which we have chosen okay now it's not depend upon the input here so 
so it's kind of uh, we can say it's not dependent upon this i mean it's it's i mean uh, count is uh, i mean we are choosing the range okay we are choosing the range for example uh, it's it's only because counter only gives the count for the range which we will choose it it does not deal with the items inside for a for the range which we have chosen is it is a text is it a is it is a text is it is a number it doesn't matter for counter is it is a chicago is it houston new york georgia california whatever be lg nokia apple samsung inside the cell counter does not care about that what he care about he cares only about that the data inside the range range if there will be data it will count if there will be no data it will not count so that is the functionality of counter and our requirement is that depend upon a particular item inside this range right inside this range we will get that count if i will choose georgia here it will give us from this range it will count the georgia how many times georgia exists so that is our requirement that is our requirement so for that we need count if function so let's apply this function and you will get the clarity is equal to c o u n t if you can press tab or you can press shift and 9 button to get the parenthesis first of all we need to take the range so we will choose complete range we want from city the column okay we want from city how many times chicago exist how many times houston exist how many time new york exist so this is the range then comma criteria now we can uh, fix the criteria for example i want only sh only chicago so we will uh, uh, press the i mean in the inverted commas we can press uh, type chicago and it will give us the output for chicago which is exist 28 time and if i will filter out data filter and i will filter the chicago how many times it exists 28 times and here count a it is giving us what it is giving us the 112 which is wrong one more thing you need to care, care about that actually this this counter is counting from the range k2 k113 so it is not care about the filtration part now it is giving us correct result as we applied because from k2 k113 there are the items exist so it is giving us 112 but it is giving us 28 because it is only counting the chicago so chicago is a is 28 times only because see it's filter this is filter we have filter we have applied the filter so counter is not care about the filter because it depends upon the range we have chosen so that's why it is giving us 112 instead of 28 because if we are counting chicago so it, it will not give us count by taking the counter it will give us wrong result because it is not counting chicago right so that you need to clear so it's not about georgia it's not about chicago for the counter right it is only about the range now we are getting the correct result if you want okay now just let me remove the filter go to the data or clear the filter one second what i've done data and filter so filter is removed now and we have the output 28 now we want uh, the uh, the new york or georgia 
नी न्यू यॉर्क एंड ऑल्सो इट इज़ नॉट आई मीन इट्स नॉट अ केयर अबाउट द कैपिटल और स्मॉल लेटर सो इट्स फाइन न्यू यॉर्क एग्जिस्ट थर्टी टाइम्स ओके बट हाउ टू मेक इट इंडिपेंडेंट सो फॉर दैट वी नीड टू टेक द इनपुट सो सो आई विल टेक द इनपुट हेयर एज फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट मी टेक एज शिकागो इफ आई विल गिव द इनपुट हेयर इन दिस सेल आई विल गेट द आउटपुट हेयर सो हाउ वी कैन डू दैट वी विल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ दिस वी विल जस्ट पुट दिस रेफरेंस एज सेल सो दिस इज एक्चुअली काइंड ऑफ रेफरेंस सो लेट मी शो यू इफ आई विल टाइप इक्वल टू एंड इफ आई विल प्रेस सी सेवन देन इट विल गिव अस हेयर द आउटपुट एज शिकागो बिकॉज दिस इज कॉल्ड रेफरेंसिंग दिस इज कॉल्ड रेफरेंसिंग ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई वॉन्ट हेयर द दिस नंबर ट्वेंटी टू आई विल जस्ट टेक द रेफरेंस ट्वेंटी टू सो दिस इज कॉल्ड रेफरेंसिंग ओके कमिंग टू द पॉइंट वी हैव शिकागो हेयर नाउ इफ आई विल टाइप हेयर हाउसटन एच ओ यू एस टी ओ एन द नंबर विल चेंज सी इट इज ट्वेंटी एट नाउ नाउ इट इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स इफ इट इज ब्लैंक इट विल गिव इज नथिंग जीरो राइट बिकॉज देर इज नथिंग क्राइटेरिया हेयर सो इट विल गिव इज जीरो नाउ आई एम चूजिंग जॉर्जिया इट इज गिविंग एज थर्टी वन सो काउंट इफ नाउ it is dynamic it's depend upon the value which we are choosing in this cell if i will choose here the anything else for example california it will not give us any result it will give us zero because california does not exist in the in this range it does not exist so it it is not going to give us value so what we can do here we can i mean in in place of zero we can make it more dynamic so i will do it here so let me show you i will use if function i will use if function okay let make it border and take count if first count if the range is this criteria is this one and now we are getting zero instead of zero what we can do we can apply if function so if i i will write if this is true but if do it gives us a true false if, so the condition the first condition is if count if is not zero or we can say is equal to zero if uh, if this condition is equal to zero means california does not exist then it will give us zero right see here here we are getting zero because california is not exist inside this range so means this condition is getting passed if it is true then we will uh, what we will do we will type if it is zero then the city not found right and else we will type count if comma and count if we will choose a range comma and we will take this as the reference we will close the parenthesis close the parenthesis and enter i will just make it little bit bigger and make it as center line make it as bold increase the size okay city not found so let me now city not found means california is not exist in this okay the range which we have chosen for this formula now if i will type chicago 28 times right chicago is 28 times same way if i will type houston 26 times so we now we don't need to filter out every time and we have to count even if we will take the count that will give us wrong result so uh, that is not the way so this is the way to count okay S so that is the use of count if just with a few search it's kind of we are searching that is 
New York exist yes exist and it is giving 30 is uh, for example uh, here apple exist no city not found there is no apple inside this data set if it is blank then it is uh, giving us not found that is not a correct result okay so to make it more uh, you know to make it more uh, output oriented or we can say that because we have not given any input then why it is giving us city not found so what we what will be the output so we will here in the beginning in the beginning what i will do i will type if see uh, this one what is that uh, this is uh, the cell reference is this one yes this if c7 is equal to blank then output will be uh, i mean if c7 is equal to blank means if it is true right if it is true then what will be the output if it is true the output will be blank right i mean there is no input then we will not get any output enter it will auto correct it because we didn't close the parenthesis that's why okay now it is not giving anything else because we have not given any input if i will give any input now it is giving uh, it is telling that city not found if i will type uh, chicago it will give us the output if i will type chicago wrong it, it will not uh, give us the output because we are uh, ri writing the wrong input because Chicago not exist here Georgia okay if I will delete this it will not give us any result because uh, it is empty so we have put the if condition so in this way we can use if function so as per the requirements we can use if function we can use count if function hope you have got the clarity about count if now coming to the sum if so same thing for the sum if so i will just control c control v here it will actually sum if apply on actually what we know that sum is only do the sum for example i need to take the sum of this particular data set so it will give us 257 now i want the sum for chicago city how we can do that the same thing we have done for county we will do for sum if so what we will do equal to sum if and the range is city and quantity also because we want the quantity as the sum range try to understand if we will take this it will not give us any result but if i will take this then it will give us a result so don't confuse that we need to take quantity right so we will take always the range for which we are going to choose is it chicago houston then input will be this one this cell comma output will be this one the l and enter now i will just make it border home make it all border and if i will type here for example i will type here chicago it will give us the sum for Chicago which is 557 so let's check it out go to data and go to filter and Chicago okay and just control choose this control C insert new sheet control V and take the sum is equal to sum choose this and we are getting 557 is the sum which is correct here so let me uh, unfilter it data and clear filter okay so for chicago we are getting 557 what about houston it is 559 let's take it as all border home all border okay what about georgia georgia exist 
828 times i mean not exist the sum for georgia is for quantities 828 so in this way we can use some if function if i will delete it it will give us zero right so we can use the if function also like we have used here and then we can for no input for example here let me create for you if this will be zero or i mean the blank then we want it to be blank and if uh okay the second one is account if and the range not count if sum if so sum if and we will take the range see we don't need to take the complete range always take the range for which we are going to find the criteria so criteria is this close and then the sum range is this close the parenthesis now the condition is if this is equal to zero means we not find we have not find it then the output will be not found city not found city not found right comma else if it is if it is true then not found if it is false then we will type sum if the range i mean the criteria this one and now the sum range this one and we can close the parenthesis and sh enter and because we don't have anything so it is giving us nothing and let me make it as thick border and give me uh, let me give it a color now if i will type here something else for example let me red it will give us city not found there is no city by name red and let me take it as bold go to home choose bold or you can press control b also red is here if uh, green i will type green then it city not found if i will blank it i mean delete it we are not getting anything because we have not give the input so this is actually the input so let me delete this so inputs home and all border and take it as yellow okay we don't need here yellow because we have not give the input here okay now if i will type georgia then it will give us the sum for georgia which is 828 so hope you have got the understanding of the sum if count if here we want house turn how many time it exists it is saying it exists 28 six time and we want it to be in center go to home make it as center right now dated if so dated if it's not exist inside this but it's kind of partial function so we, we need to type dated if press shift if you will press tab it will not come because it is not exist inside it it is partially kind of function we can say now dated if what it do it do it's compare the range the difference not compare i will say the difference yes the difference so starting we need the starting date and end date so let me take a start date and end date and for this let me control x and control b let me paste here and let me paste it kind of here or let me take it into the left side the alignment and this one start it and let me control x and control b so you will get the understanding when you will work on it okay so start date and date make it as the all border and we want it to be dated if dated if right this is the function okay start it uh, let's copy this 15 
और पुट टू डेज डेट और जस्ट ओके लेट मी कॉपी दिस एंड पेस्ट हियर एंड टेक ट्वेंटी टू नाउ एंड लेट मी टेक इट एज टू मेक यू बेटर अंडरस्टैंड जीरो वन जीरो वन ट्वेंटी वन जीरो ओके लेट मी टेक इट एज जीरो वन एंड दिसंबर ओके सो वट डेटेड इफ डू इट कंपेयर द आई मीन वी नीड द स्टार्ट डेट एंड एंड डेट एंड इट विल गिव अस द रिजल्ट एज पर द इनपुट्स ओके सो द स्टार्ट डेट इज दिस विच इज़ वन जैन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन एंड दिस इज वन अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू ओके एंड लेट मी मेक इट इज लाइक दिस एज फिफ्टीन फैब or uh, first of all what i will do i will show you th like this because we need to understand that if we will take this it will not gives the output uh, okay let's start with the year okay let's let's show okay year then we have month and then we have day right 15 is what this is day right month is what which is second month which is fab and year is 2021 for what starting date i'm talking about right so when we need the output let me take it below control x control v okay so when we need the output we need the output in the form of year month day because when we will find the difference between a particular date so it will be come as year month day because it's not always that uh, i mean for right now we can see that it's not complete that, that there is no complete year so we will not get any year let me show you what i'm saying if i will here let me take it as bold and take it as green right dated if okay a uh, type dated if shift 9 start date is this comma and date is this comma if i will type here in the inverted commas y it will not give us anything it is giving us zero why zero why we are getting the output as zero why why it is happening why it is happening why why it is zero why why the output is zero okay you need to understand the syntax first so date if uh, first of all we always take the starting date then we will take the end date and we will take year month day so for the year we have like this uh y for the month we have m and for the day we have d now we can see that uh, it's uh, for the uh, inputs which is uh, what are the inputs here these are the inputs actually the start date and end date these are the inputs and y uh, m d these are the outputs actually right so these are kind of outputs d also okay so by md is the output now uh, because uh, this uh, when we are putting the d11 as the starting date and d12 as the end date because d11 is the starting date which is 15 feb 2021 and it is 10 march 2021 so it's kind of not even a completed month getting my point so when we are taking year uh, then it is giving us zero because the it y means the complete year so is a year completed no so it will give us zero now let's take not year let's take m 
it is still giving us 0 but if I will take D it will give us the result which is near about 15 15 23 kind of yes 23 okay so why it is coming 23 you need to understand this when when I am taking it as day D it is coming 23 why because the last one is day so it we it is actually uh, giving us 23 as the output because they uh, the difference is in days not in months getting my point if I will take it as uh, in place of 10 March I will take as April so then it will give me uh, the result about uh, 2030 53 around I think so 54 okay so uh, it is giving us 54 so the difference between uh, 10 uh, 15 Feb to 10 April is 54 days so it is giving us days now if I will take in place of D here if I will take as M it will give us the output as month which is one month but it is not giving the days because we have not asked for days we have asked for month so because month is completed now what will I will do I will choose here 3 it will give us 0 if I will choose here 15 it is giving us 1 because now if I will take here day then you will get the understanding why it is giving us 1 because 28 days now fab month to I mean actually kind of it count it as a 28 days as a month but if I will take it as M and I will take it as here 15 March it will give us one second 15 March and 0 now if I will take here April it is giving us 1 if I will take as 14 it is giving us 0 now you need to understand uh, one thing let's take it as D and it is giving us 30 but March has how many days March has uh, March has 31 days so for the 31 it will count as the month so now 31 days is completing and if I will put month M it will give us as a complete month because the starting point is March so same way for the fab it is giving us 28 days as a complete month because our starting month is fab so now it is giving us two months that because this is 15 April but if I will choose it as uh, 15 March it will give us one month and let's take it as D and it is 28 days so for 28 days it is completing it as a month because the starting point is fab and fab has how many days 28 but March has 31 days so when the 31 if the starting month is March then when 31 days will count it will give as a one month hope you are getting my point okay so uh, let me make you more understandable I will just copy Y here I will copy M here and I will copy D here this is the output and here we will take the outputs so let me take it as all border hope you are getting my point right all borders so what I will do I will just uh, type the formula here is equal to D A T E D if I will take this as the reference uh, one starting days and start end date is this comma output will be this so I am making it dynamic now if I will copy this and paste here it will not work first of all the first is when we uh, because when we will uh, when we hard code the values this is actually the hard coding okay we have to change the hard coding uh, by ourselves if we want day we, we have to give it D if we want month we have to put M in the inverted commas if we want Y we have to put Y into inverted commas so that is hard coding 
but we want it to be dynamic like this like we have done this for count if sum if right we are just changing the value and it is giving us the result so we we are not going inside the formula so here i will just press y we do, and one more thing when we will take the reference we don't need the inverted commas m and d now you can see that y is zero but month is num and day is zero why it is happening because there is a uh, it should be one month here why it is not coming because we have not fixed this uh, the d11 and d12 we need to fix it because this is only the reference we are looking for when we are copying it uh, like i told you in the v lookup it is actually changing the position and it is giving us e11 which is this so that is the wrong our reference is not e11 our reference is d11 so we will fix it before dragging it so we will fix d11 so how we can do that we can uh, do that in uh, just by pressing f4 choose d11 press f4 choose d12 press f4 now we have the dollar sign in front of d we have dollar sign in front of 11 same way for the end date we have a dollar sign in front of d we have dollar sign in front of 12 enter now we can drag and drop it control c control v now we are getting see we are getting correct we are getting one month 28 days we are getting one month 28 days right and we have not fixed it this one a18 because it is changing this is here why then it, when we will drop here we need m so that's why we are not fixing this because we need m here we need d day here so i will just control x control v here and i will type here it as year month and day we don't need here any color so we can make it in as no fill right now just uh, do the changes here only okay and you will get the output here so this one what i will do okay let me make here the okay let me change here so if i will uh, take it as uh, i mean the starting is 15 fab and if i will take it as 15 mass 22 then it will give us year also one year Thirteen month, three ninety three days. So it is giving us the correct result. Now you need to understand it is only giving us one year because year will be uh, and month is thirteen because this is actually the completed one. If it is not completed one because one year is completed, but it it, it will not give us one point something year because this is year means if i will take here even uh, because it is one year if i will take it as uh, in 15 fab it is giving us then let's take it as jan it will not give us year because it has only 11 months so it, it will give us the months only the count for months now if the months has some days for example it has uh, 20 20 jan then it will not give us the month will not increase because the month will increase when it will complete the month getting more point i am saying that for year means the completion why means completion year complete year if it is uh, one year six month it will always give us one year for example i will increase it to uh, kind of august so it will give us still it will give us one year but it has 18 months so it will not cross to two years until it have had 24 months so for to make it as 24 months what we need to do we need to make it as kind of 
23 yes here we have to make it as 23 now we have two years and we have 30 months so we can make here fab now it will have kind of 24 months but it is same way the happening for year the same thing is happening here until it has if it has 24 months 29 days it will give us 24 months it, it will give 25 months only when that month will complete right so how we can know that that uh, i mean this is two years how many the complete how we can how we are able to get the complete uh, year month day because this is actually kind of two years that's it if it is more than two years we don't able to know because 24 months that is kind of two years now 73 five days so it is 73 five is hard code value um, i mean the complete hard code so that is 735 the complete days but we want kind of uh, complete two years then we want after if the um, uh, year is completed we want kind of how many months we have remaining and after that how many days we have remaining how we can achieve that that will be the kind of if it is kind of partial result it is not complete result because it has two years but it has some kind of because it has 24 months okay means it has two years now two years has how many uh, i mean if i will multiply because year has 365 months so i will multiply year with this so it is 730 means we have five days only so i will minus this 735 minus time so we have two years five days that is the meaning of this right and if i will increase this to uh, not fab i will make it august now there will be a problem two years that is fine but it has 186 days now we need to convert this 186 into month so that is a hectic part so uh, the output is two years 186 month because or, or we can say that uh, from here we can we need to do but we need to because this has 24 months so we need to make it as 24 months so we, what we can do here we can uh, say that yes one year has 12 months because this is the kind of output so i will control x and control v and here is the output and because this is the day i will just control x and control v here and here i will put the month so month has sometime it has 30 months sometime it has 31 month some and sometime it has 28 months so that will be kind of hard hard part so it's not it's not give us the correct result so what we will do we will or what we can do we can do one more thing here we can do that uh, 30 so 30 months means how many months uh, we have so we can apply the formula here uh, one year uh, 30 months has uh, two years means how many months so we will uh, multiply it by 12 and the output we have 30 so we have 30 minus 24 now we have six months and here now there is a problem because if it has a six months then we need to minus this so we need to convert into days so it will be uh, it's, it's, it's hard to convert into days because we have 30 days we have 31 days 28 so it's not going to give us correct result okay now okay i mean i uh, i'm i'm explaining it because uh, uh, this is kind of it's not giving us i mean the correct output which we are actually looking for so for that what we need to do there is another uh, output reference so let me show you for the data day so hope you have get the you first of all you need to understand why md meaning if you only want i mean it's not that we don't never use this we use this if we need the difference in days only days then we will use d so 916 days is the difference between these two days if we want the difference in months only then we will use m so 30 months but we will not be able to know how many days remaining so for that i have uh, you know uh, just uh, by 
doing some uh, calculation we can say that 30 months 186 days okay so it only gives the month the fixed the one fixed one so day 916 it will always give okay 19, 6, 916 30 months if it is 28 days i mean it's not 186 it's kind of uh, 360 uh, i mean let me remove this for this uh, because we have 30 into uh, 30 months means two years okay it's don't go i mean you will be confused so i don't want to confuse you so 30 months means 30 months so if it is more than uh, i mean 30 months 28 days so 28 days we are not go uh, we will not get the calculation for 28 days i'm just giving an example we will 30 months means 30 months that's it same way if two years if it has for example our uh, it has 30 months now it is giving us two years but uh, uh, two years means 24 months so six months is remaining so we will not get the it as that i mean the our output should for this our output should be two month two year six month and some days okay how we can achieve that so let me show you for that let me uh, we need actually for why we need y m and we need y d so let's take it as border and this one we need to take as y now i will uh, apply the same function i can copy paste here and we need to take the reference is a23 that is fine because the reference is a23 here a b23 that is fine so let me take it as green kind of right so now it is giving us see two years six month and 186 days now we are getting the correct result in the above it is it is also correct result but if you want i mean the correct result in what sense it has two years that is fine but it has 30 months why because m is give us complete month complete month from starting to end but ym is give us the remaining month of years if years is completed it will ignore the year and it will give us only the month if there is a day it will ignore that also so the six months so that is see the six month i manually i calculated now the days are 186 so what days do here in the above it complete com uh, it counts the complete days but here it not counts the complete days it counts the remaining days of year month for this date so, so the remaining days days is 186 right so let me make you understand if i will just copy 15 fab here it will give us kind of zero see zero year zero month uh, zero days zero 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 right let me make it little bit bigger bold and bigger okay so we have 15 fab 21 now if i will increase it to 16 fab what will be the output the output will be one day only output is one day only in both the cases that is fine we will go step by step so you will get the understanding of, uh, between ymd y i mean ym and yt now i will increase it uh, to 17 fab output will be two days so both are okay if I will take it as kind of uh, 28 fab, we have 13 days, that is fine. Now, if I will increase to 0, 01, 0, 03 March, then we will get 15 days or 14 days, okay? So, let me take it kind of 14 March. We are getting 27 days. Now, 
just focus please focus now now you need to focus if i will make it 15 march what will going to happen now we will have one month zero year zero day ym uh year days actually one month is okay but it is fab okay it is giving us 28 here so i think we need to take it as md or oh, my apology md yes we need md here yes hello all right so date to date so i was explaining you about date to date so we had covered year month day and today we will cover ym and md so hope you are uh, you have the understanding of y md y means complete year m means complete month and d means complete day right but in the i mean in the real time scenario uh, we we have kind of result for example this so this is one month zero days okay because if the month is completing then there is no logic to get the days so it is giving us zero so this is kind of uh, y y m m d is a real scenario this is also a real scenario but it deals only with if we are dealing with year it will only show year now it is not giving us any year because there is no year that is fine now month it is giving us 1 but it is still giving us 28 now if i will make it as april it will give us as 2 months and 60 days 2 months 60 days but the real is 2 month only right so let's let's uh, check it out let's start from 15 fab i will copy paste 15 fab it will be zero see the result is zero now if the end date will be 16 fab what will be the result the result will be one day uh, i mean in the, in uh, it the result will be one day in both the cases see one one if i will make it 17 we will get two days for both One second, okay. So I have it's uh seventeen. One second, yes. So we have got two for both. Now we uh, if I will take it as eighteen fab three. If I will take it as nineteen fab, it will give us uh the four, four days. Okay. Now if I will take it as the Fourteen of March. What will happen? Twenty-seven. So twenty-seven days means from I mean the difference between fifteen Feb to fourteen March is twenty-seven days. So both are showing us twenty-seven days. That is fine. Now I will take it as fifteen March. Now what will be the result? So the result will be if I will press the enter, we will get here. 28 days um uh one second here we will get 28 days and here we will get one month and here we will get one month which is correct so enter and see we are getting one month 28 days but actually 15 feb to 15 march is one month the completion is one month let me take okay let me take it from starting 0 uh 1 so you will get more understanding about the concept so 01 and 01 okay let me copy it now we will start from the start see if the start date is 1 jan 2021 and end date is uh, 1 jan 2021 then obviously we we don't have any days it is same day so it is considered as zero now second if the end date is 2nd jan then we will get one day 
so both are showing us one day i mean manual is one day and by the formula we are getting one day if i will take it as 3 we will get 2 4 4 jan means 3 right 3 days the difference is 3 days now if i will take it as 30 jan then 30 days uh, 29 days my apology the difference the talking about the difference now if i will take it as 31 jan it is giving us 30 now if i will take it as the 01 fab now it will give us one month because uh, the jan month complete on 31 so difference between 1 jan to 1 fab is 31 days so now this one is giving us correct result one but this is also giving us the correct result as per the formula let me remove this okay but genuinely if we will uh, see this we can see that it has only the difference of one month only but it is giving us one month and 31 days why because one month one month happens that's why it is giving us one month days because the difference is 31 days that's why it is giving 31 days but md gives us only the days which is not month right so there are uh, 31 days so that is a month because january is the starting month so 31 that is covering in uh, ym so we are getting month now if i will increase it to 2 fab what will happen now uh, what will happen this one will give us one month and 32 days and this one will give us the correct result one month and one day enter one month one day which is the correct result because one jan to two fab we have 32 days and out of 32 days we know that jan month has how many days 31 days jan month has 31 days jan month has 31 days right has 31 days so what will happen because total days are 32 so out of 32 we will minus 31 which is considered as a month so one month here now we are remaining one day so this is the correct result one month one day now coming to the point here if i will take it as three fab we will get two days i mean 33 days out of 33 days how many month because jan is the month so jan has 31 days it is giving us one month as the output and here it is we are getting two days that is fine and here one month complete and 33 days complete now if i will increase it to four we will get one month three days now if i will take it as instead of fab let's take it as december or october now nine month is completing and remaining days are three right because one jan to one october nine months will complete and remaining days are three that is fine and 276 is actually the actual count of days from one jan to four four october if you need the actual count as days then it's fine but you need it basis on year month days then this will be the pattern right okay so now here uh, i will take it as because nine months so let's me let's take it as make it as 22 what will happen now the complete is one year and we will have almost uh, one year nine month will one year nine month three days will be the output see one year nine month three days is the output that is fine but it is giving us one year 21 months because m is giving us the complete month so 1 jan to 4 october we have complete 21 months but if we want it basis on this then now we can see that one month uh, one year the difference is one year nine months three days right if i will make it as 23 two years nine months three days two years nine months three days now we can conc concatenate this so how uh, i mean 
टू नाइन थ्री ओके सो वी कैन कॉन कैन कॉनकैटिनेट इट कॉनकैटिनेट द दिस वन कॉमा नाउ वी विल पुट इन्वर्टेड कॉमा सो दिस इज इयर्स राइट एंड वी विल पुट ए स्पेस टू गेट द स्पेस कॉमा वी विल लेट्स लेट टेक इट इन द आई मीन ट्वेंटी आई मीन इफ द इयर्स दैन इयर्स एंड इफ द मंथ्स दिस इज मंथ्स दैन वी आर गेटिंग मंथ्स and next is uh, 9 months 3 days so the days uh, i mean we have taken the reference see uh, 24 then inverted commas we need to put days hope you are getting the point days and we have to put the space also so uh, the number will be just kind of they should have space to for the visuality and we will just press enter now we can see that we are getting two Years nine month three days for this. So let's take the reference. I I will type equal and here we have taken the reference. Now we are getting the output as two years nine month three days. Now here we can see that if I will take it as the twenty four, it will give us three years nine month three days. See it is changing here. Let me make it little bit bigger. Hope you are getting the point. right so let me make it little bit right word okay now if i will uh, i mean uh, for example i have to okay uh, let's let's uh, make it as 06 so we will get june month 3 years 5 months uh 3 days my apology uh 5 days say because jan so 4 june it's okay 5 months yes 5 months so that's fine uh 1 2 so 3 years 5 months 3 days okay so hope you are getting the uh, point how it is getting calculated and uh, let me take it as 27 and let me make it as 5 now what will happen 6 years 5 months 4 days but here 6 year is coming because the 6 year is completed now after the month i mean m will give us the complete month excluding days years will give us complete years excluding month and days month will give us complete month and days will give us everything that is days 2 3 4 6 complete days but this is giving us the complete uh, output the complete result the complete difference so it is saying the difference between 1 jan 2021 to 5 June two thousand twenty seven is six years five months four days. So hope you have got the clarity about the day to day function. And uh, I mean you are aware how to calculate. It is mostly used when we need the difference uh, between the dates or we need the date of birth or uh, to find the kind of the tenor. Okay, let me show you uh, tenor. For example, employee uh, employee join on uh, some date. Okay, employee join on one Jan. Okay, and employee join on one Jan two thousand fifteen, and he left the organization on. 2019 so in this way if we have the data now we need the tenor how uh, many years or days he worked so what we need to do we need to use this the complete this one okay so we have to uh, create the day to day for i um, mean 6 uh, for 5 for 4 then we have to take the concatenate so we can uh, do it i mean we can concatenate the formula itself also we don't need uh, the separate thing for example if i want to concatenate this what i will do i will just let me show you i will just take dated if dated if and here starting then end and okay and we have to 
starting date and date and we have to take what y okay we need to hard code it here then uh, enter now we are getting four years and also we have to i mean we need to use concatenate concatenate also because we want the formula the, the complete formula so we will just copy this we will comma enter i mean comma and paste and here we need ym and here we need need md and we are done enter so one second okay we i have to put uh, actually the parenthesis is missing uh, concatenate i have to close the parenthesis okay so 400 means 400 so i have to put the space also so i will just take it as uh, the space and if you want to put as year like uh, we did this for this six year five months four days also then we can do that otherwise it will always give us the pattern that first will be the um, year uh, second pattern will be the month third will be the days so we will get the clarity from that also so we don't even need to put uh, the i mean 400 so i mean four years the complete four years so example i'm taking it as uh, the five then it will give us days four years zero month four days okay so in in this way we can i mean uh, this will be the joining d dog and this will be the uh, date of leaving and this will be the tenor so tenor means how many i mean the time of working of the candidates so four years zero month four days and if we want to put everything i mean we want the text everything then we can put here that it's years and this one is months and this is okay one second it's days actually days this is months year oh one second i am doing wrong here years then we have months then we have to put one more inverted commas here to get days so we have space d a y s space enter so we have uh, four years zero month four days okay for example if it has uh, no years i mean okay let me copy this paste 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 and copy this and paste and let me do changes here i want let me take it as uh, zero or one jan let me take it as some kind of six months so this or oh, five months so zero years five months zero days so in this way uh, we can find the tenor or date of birth for till date what is the age to find the age okay so hope you have get the better understanding of uh, the date to if let me just uh, elaborate you we had done end of month end of month means end of month uh, the i mean it gives us the last date of a particular month so zero will be the starting the current month and next so third means we are talking about the the third month from the current month so fab then we have Ma uh, this is i2 fab march april may so this is giving us may okay and length is actually to count the characters and concatenate already uh, I, I mean mention you that it's just uh, add the particular uh, cells or the strings or the numbers itself so we are combining j5 and k5 cell each other and here see we have uh, applied the concatenate we are apply uh, we have uh, concatenate this one then this one then this one months okay like that so we we can use the concatenate as per the requirement if i already mentioned you it dip, it works on it works on kind of the condition if condition is true then we, we have the output if condition is false then we have the output same way uh, for the count if it just count the i mean if we have a range then from the range the items we have we can count that particular items using count if same way we can take the sum of those particular item using sum if and 
day to day for already explained you so hope you have get the proper understanding of these functions see you soon in the next session thank you so much and one more thing please leave the feedback and rating to rating to the course thank you so much Today's session is to remove duplicates. How to remove the duplicates? Remove duplicates. So we have uh, this data set and now if uh, we want to remove the duplicate from this data set, I will just control C and I can add this data set into a new sheet or I can add it into here because data set is small. Now to remove the duplicates what we will do we will go to data and wait a second okay so uh, data and yes see this uh, the box and we have uh, the cross symbol I mean the boxes uh, kind of rows uh, this one so we have to click here Re uh, duplicates will be removed automatically is as uh, asking that you want to uh, remove the duplicate from column city yes okay now the data will be removed from here now it is saying that 15 duplicate value found and removed 11 unique value remains in this way we can remove the duplicates from the data set now this is one thing uh, we have the duplicates uh, removed and these are the unique value we have now if we want to know how many unique values value exist in data set how we can do that right one we have done uh, to remove the duplicates and we have the unique value data set that is fine but if we want to find how many unique value exist in this right how we can do that for that we need count function we need count function for, for this we need count function now what we will do uh, we will just take the uh, let me copy and paste it here and see this is a data set and we want to uh, know how many unique value exist in the data set so we, how we can do that I will type equal sign count if already told you about the count if function tab choose the range so our range is what from Chicago to this I mean from this to this this is our range and criteria will be and we need to fix the range F4 we will fix the range and we will take this reference because we want to count Chicago how many times exist now it is saying it is exist seven si times in the data set means it is not unique in the data set unique only uh, those who has only one if Houston is coming one time is it exists only one time in the data set means so this is the unique value so what we will do we will just uh, uh, G, uh, I mean here uh, how many unique values exist in the data set unique value okay so we will take the filter for this we will go to the data and we will take the filter go to data take it as the filter and here we have to filter out one because one means uh, it is giving us the count one that means it exists only one time so this is the data which exists only one time we will just control C we will add new sheet and control V so one two three four five so these are the data set which exist unique which is unique but 
the data set which is not unique is greater than 1 2 3 5 7 so this is the uh, set which has duplicates so we will copy this we will go to the new sheet which we added and from here now we can see that these are unique okay these are unique and this is duplicates right so this is duplicates how many duplicates we have we can count it count a and choose this we have 21 duplicates and we have unique we have count a and this is the 5 so total 5 uniques and 21 duplicates so total is 26 and let me uh, remove the filter and we can see that here I will just type 1 2 and I will drag and drop it I mean just drag like this and it will give us 26 right so means uh, this is 21 that is the duplicate and 5 is the unique so now we are able to uh, e evaluate as per the question asked that how many duplicates inside the data set so we know that 21 is the duplicate inside the data set we have and 5 is the unique value inside the data set now if we want to remove the duplicate from this data set we will just copy and paste here and we will just go to the data and remove duplicate so now we can see that we have unique duplicate values I mean those were duplicates it's control C control V so that is how many values so let's take counter C O U N T A and it is 5 so total 5 duplicates take from H2 to H6 so this is actually the 5 duplicate value we have right 5 duplicates means uh, these uh, this is a data set oh, okay it is Chicago actually one second we have to copy paste here and this is city and here okay so we can copy and paste here and here is city okay and we have uh, we need to e2 to e, uh, d22 we need 22 d22 so this is uh, d22 so this is 21 okay and here we have CTD duplicates and we have duplicates and we have total duplicates 6 H2 to H7 so this will give us 6 so now we can see that 5 uniques inside the data set which is unique value and 6 are the uh, items which is duplicates inside the data set we had and the data set is this this one right so in this way we can find the duplicate we can find the unique values for the data set okay so uh, if if you if you need only I mean if you only need the unique values you can use remove duplicates that's it so this is the unique value if you want to find the unique values now if you find the uh, unique how many values exist unique value exist in the data set and how many duplicate value exist in the data set then you can't use the remove duplicates because remove duplicate will remove all the duplicates and it will give us the unique value for that we need to use count if function and when we will use the count if function what will happen here we can see that we are taking the range the complete range for which we are going to find the count if and we will take the reference of the adjacent cell L2 
then l3 l4 like that so what is it is doing it is from the range it is counting how many times chicago exists so it is saying seven times here the same thing it will choose the range it is uh, i mean the uh, range is selected and now it is giving us that how many times the chicago exist inside this data set so it is it will count from the start one two three four five like that and it is giving us seven as the answer same way for georgia because georgia exists three times in the data set so wherever with the georgia we will get count three now we know that if something exists more than one means that is duplicate so if we will filter it out equal to one one means it exists only one time in the data set and if it is greater than one means it exists uh, I mean it, it's a duplicate so we can uh, filter it out and we can get one count of one how many times one exist and I mean uh, uh, the I mean we will take the filter for one which is here uh, this uh, the unique value and if it is greater than one so we will filter out which is we will actually filter out which is not equal to one for example I will go to the go to the data because there is a possibility if the data set is large if you choose greater than one it will take uh, too much time to filter it out uh, what I am saying if you will unselect all and try to do this you can do that but for example if the data set is very large then it will take too much time for you to select uh, which is not equal to one so how you can do that to get the duplicate you will choose all and you will choose which is not equal to one so everything will be selected means that is duplicate now we have the duplicate and we can copy and paste it to the new sheet and if we want only one which is unique then we will choose select all unselect this and choose one only so in just one click we can find the unique value and we can find the duplicate value now uh, here go to the data and f uh, choose the filter now what I will do uh, I will use the if function to uh, make you understand uh, because I already discussed about you the if function now here we can use the if function here we are doing the filter uh, I mean that is fine now we can also apply the filter on, on if so for the if we will type is equal to if so if this value is equal to 1 if this value is equal to 1 means this is 1 else if it is not equal to 1 means it is greater than 1 because it can't be 0 so what we will take we will take it as uh, 0 so we will just copy and paste it now what we will filter out one second copy and paste uh, we have to okay m2 and copy if the value is true then one if not true then zero now we have only one uh, two filter we will choose data now we have only zero one filter or if you don't want the zero you can uh, write it as duplicate value duplicate duplicate and here you can type as the unique unique value unique value you will just copy paste it and increase it so we have the formula here so we can just go to the home we can choose the gray all board okay now we will just apply the filter go to the data and apply the filter now we have only two option duplicate and unique value that's it see if you want duplicate value we can copy the duplicate value to the new sheet and we are able to find it. okay these are the duplicate value and if you want it to be unique value we can in inside the data set we can see that this is actually the unique value for this data set so hope you have get the clarity let me remove the data filter 
hope you have uh, get the understanding of uh, how to use uh, remove duplicates and when we uh, need to use the country function to find the unique value from the data set and the duplicate value from the data set so we can go with the country function and if uh, you want to modify it more you can apply the if function so that you will uh, as per the condition if it is equal to 1 that means it exists one time in the data set okay uh, on that basis you can take it as if uh, this m2 i mean uh, the data set is 1 the cell is 1 the value is 1 then it means it is unique value and if it is not 1 that means if it is false then obviously it's it can't be 0 so it will always be greater than 1 uh, that means it exists many times so that will be duplicate so hope you have get the better understanding of uh, how to remove the duplicate and how to use the context function and if function to get the output see you soon in the next session thank you so much hello today's session is uh, related to the vlookup and match function so I have already told you about the VLOOKUP so let's uh, today's is match function but first of all let me show you what is VLOOKUP to remind you for VLOOKUP uh, see this is the data set uh, in the left side we have the data set and in the right side we have the output right here we want the output now we have the IDs with us now we know that if uh, we have to find the ID we can we need to filter it or we uh, need to find it uh, by pressing control C control F control B and find next 6048 so in this way we can copy the data then we can go upward and after that we can just copy again 6049 control F find find next so we we are at okay 60 I have not mentioned 6049 find next 6049 so in this way uh, we can just we need to find and use to find and replace or even we can use the filter but that is not the way okay now so let's start the vlookup we have the list i mean the ids for uh, first of all we need uh, to run the vlookup we need to take first the lookup value so id will be the lookup value for us i will type equal sign vlookup and i will take the lookup value which is 6048 then we have to find the array from which array means the table from which we need to get the data so this is the table a to e i will choose the data i will press f4 so it will get freeze comma now cities what is the number for city we can see that uh, number one is id number two is date number three is cell phone number four is city so city is number four quantity is number five so we will just press number four comma zero and i will just copy it and paste below but if I will, I mean, uh, now I have to apply the formula again for cell phone. But if I want, I don't want to apply it again. I just want to copy paste. And here it will not give us the result. The reason is that because we have not fixed the S2. So we have to fix H, not 2, only H. So we will press shift and dollar. I mean shift and 2, uh, uh, shift and 4. So dollar sign in front of S2, uh, the lookup value enter we will copy it we will choose everything and we will paste it we, we are getting city so why we, why we are getting city because uh, we are finding number four so number four is where one two three four is city cell phone is number three one two three so we have to type here three and we have to just copy it and paste it now we are getting the cell phones then for this we have to press uh, number 5 because quantity is at number 5 control C and, and control C and control V see we are getting the output like this so let me make it uh, color wise 
so you will get to know that there is a formula applied here and let's take it as border form take it as all border hope you are getting the point now what is match so let's discuss about this the match now uh, we know uh, I mean when we are applying the lookup uh, if if we want to make it dynamic even if I will just copy and paste it that's it if you don't want to type 4 or see this number 3 and for the quantity number 5 if you don't if you don't want to type it manually if you want to make it kind of dynamic how 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 we can do that so let's let me show you let's take because this is the normal lookup and what I will do I will just show you the I will take this one or what I can uh, do I will just copy paste the CTA cell phones here one second control C control V okay now the uh, we have to apply the match so you need to understand match but first of all I will apply the formula then I will make you understand so let's take the lookup and the lookup value is h2 so we have to freeze h so we will go to h press shift 4 button so it will uh, I mean dollar sign will come in front of h so it is getting freeze now if we will move it further it will not uh, I mean it will fix it fix so it will not change with the position now we have to take the array and array is a to e and we have to press f4 because we need to fix it otherwise it will change the position comma now for the city we can see that the city is at number 4 1 2 3 4 but we have to run the match so i will type match m a t c h tab now uh, uh, for the lookup we have the lookup value same way for the match we have the lookup value so lookup value is this oh my apology the h2 so we will freeze h okay already told you otherwise it will change the position so comma and we have to take the array now you need to understand for the match what will be the array the header will be the array just remember always remember when you will apply the vlookup take uh, this is the table array okay i mean the lookup uh, we are applying s2 and ae so this is the table array now for the match lookup value is this if, uh, same way we look up uh, the lookup value is this h2 same way match lookup value is h2 all right so uh, the array for match will be the header of the table array okay so we will take this only a to e i mean a1 to e1 so only we we will take only the header not anything else not the complete table only only the ta uh, the table header okay comma uh, i mean first of all freeze it f4 and otherwise it okay uh, choose all and press 4 otherwise it will change the position okay let me apply it again see uh, see again what i'm saying we look up look up value equal value is h2 and we have to freeze h so it will not change the position comma look, array will be the table so this is the complete table we are going to take and we will press f4 so it will get freeze comma now if i will take uh, 1 2 3 4 4 if i will type here 4 comma 0 i mean 0 for the exact match already told you so 4 is uh, if I will type 4 I will get the result comma 0 now uh, okay let's take the arrow out let's get f4 press f4 and enter so we are getting Georgia now if I will copy it and uh, paste at the cell phones it is not making I mean it's we need to take it as uh, 3 then it will give us the result but we don't want like that we want it to be dynamic so for that we take the match in place of the 4 so we will type match and lookup value is what the same one h2 is the lookup value for us so f4 uh, i mean the shift 4 and uh, 
we have to take the lookup value uh, i mean the table array next so let's remove the zero and take the table array i mean table array means the header array only not the table array the header header array so this is the header array press f4 comma zero and bracket is closed and comma zero again because we have to take the exact match so we will press uh, Okay, there is okay. H two is the lookup value, and I'm saying that I want to E. So it's not doing as the result. So let's check what is happening here. H two and so H two A E. Okay. So it is giving us city. A S two A E match S two A one. So we need. Okay, okay, not S two. My apologies. Okay, this is uh, we need to take this one L L L one. So make uh, we will not. Freeze here L. We will freeze here one. Okay. Uh, the freeze and control C and control V. Now we are getting the same result. C A G O J P L forty thirty one seven. Okay. Let me explain you again. Uh, maybe you will find it difficult to understand. So let me let me just. Uh, Explain you again. So I will remove uh, the this one, and I will apply it again. So just uh, I will apply the normal lookup. So we look up the lookup value is S two. I will just freeze it by pressing by putting the cursor in front of H. Press Shift and four, then comma. Take the table array. See the normal lookup. I am applying nothing special. F four, comma. Number is city. The number is one, two, three, four. Four. Number is four, comma zero. So I will just copy this and paste here. Now you will see that it is getting Georgia. Now for the cell phone, we need to make it as three. So we will get the cell phone. Okay. Same way for the quantity, we take to need to take it as five. Control C and Control V. But we don't need it. I mean, for example, it is for three columns, three headers. That is fine. We are doing, but for example, headers there are twenty headers, and for the twenty headers, it's not that you can't do that. You can do that, but you need to, uh, you know, do it one by one. I mean, uh, four, three, five, six, seven, eight, like that. Uh, on which uh, I mean, that particular header number. See, ID header number is one. Date header number is. I mean, the header number is. Uh, uh, this is on the position so id is at first position for the table array so first id date is check at the second position so 2 3 4 5 like that so to avoid that what we will take i will just uh, go here uh, i will delete all this one and this one okay and so here we in in place of four press match and look up value will be this because uh, l1 And we have to press one. And why we are pressing one? I will explain you. Uh, first of all, let's understand the match. So L one is the value. I mean L one. We are looking for the look lookup value. And this lookup value exists where? It exists here. The header. Uh, I mean this header. One second. Let me just check. This L one. This one. So header I am taking and press a four, comma zero and uh, close the bracket. Then comma zero and close the bracket and enter. Now you will get the output. Control C, Control V, and you will see the output we are getting, which we are looking for. So match is what uh, match is doing. Uh, match is finding city. Okay, because look up value city and it is finding where it exists in uh, A to E. I mean the number. 
so we can see that a to e the city exists at number c find city here so is city at number 1 no is city at number 2 no is city at number 3 no is city at number 4 yes so it will give us that yes this is the number 4 so find the city so it will uh, find the city and look up value we have already taken for the look up which is 6048 so it will find uh, the 6048 from the table from the here uh control f let me show you 6048 and when we uh, i mean when because look up value 6048 it will go here after that it will find i mean where we have to go to the city and 1 2 3 4 so at the number 4 the city exists because we are finding the city and we are look up value is the city and we are the uh, finding the city and city is number 4 so we will get that output here same way for the cell phone is happening same way for quantity is happening hope you have get the better understanding of the lookup and match see you soon in the next session thank you so much